70 bits. Oh, boy. Oh my gosh!
Mm. Some real human style music. <laughs> Hot human type beat. Uh, let me see here. Oh, I gotta turn my alert sound on. <laughs> VST PNV, thank you for the 34 whole years. You got some real human style music there. Um, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Bluto to you, too. Thank you for the not one, but somehow two raids? I, I don't know what this is about. I got raided twice? Wow, it's the Dino stream. Wow. Is this where games are played? Wow. No, I'd never play video games. Thank you for both raids, Bluto. <laughs> 70 bits, oh boy. I see, thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy. I have no idea what happened at the Bluto stream today. <laughs> I got raided twice. Chronicus, thank you for the host. Let me see, hold on. Buddy Christ, thank you for the follow. Graying Raven, thank you for the follow. Space Hoppercopter, thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy. Slapper Pal, thank you for the 28 whole years. <gasps> Real Soviet Bear, thank you for the 28 whole years. Semenoske, thank you for the 26. Uh, Blaze Poop, thank you for the 12. Grims, thank you for the Prime Gaming Nothing Excess. Thank you for the 100 bits. Shadigo, thank you for the host as well. How are things? Hi, hello. How are things on this uh, Monday? Checks calendar. Monday evening. Man, gal, thank you for the host. Hope everyone had a good weekend. I was big chillin'. I had a pretty good weekend. And K underscore had a lovely stream yesterday. I was on it very briefly. <laughs> How much did you end up raising, Anne? I uh, I wasn't able to catch the end of it, but I saw a number go up. Saw a number very big go up. I was very pleased. That we, that that you raised you you raised over six k for charity. Ugh, oh, you'd love to hear it. So yeah, uh, we're done with Metal Max. The Metal Max playthrough is over. I'm immediately sad about it, but that's okay. We're gonna play some other things. I ain't played no PS One games in a while. I don't think we've played anything for the PS One since like. I don't know X Men Mutant Academy. It's been a while. It's been a little bit. So we're gonna play some PS1 games this week, I don't know. Sir Leifu, thank you for the 19 whole years. We're playing Pandemonium today. We're gonna play both, or at least we're gonna try to play both, Pandemonium games. This first one was released by Toys for Bob, who people probably, uh, more popularly know as the people who made the Crash and Spyro trilogies, and then they made Crash Bandicoot 4 before tragically being sucked into the Call of Duty machine. I remember having the Pandemonium games when I was younger, and I haven't really messed with them since. Yeah, Bob made some toys, I guess. This is not a Crystal Dynamics joint, Super Saiyan Jacob. They just published it. The second one is. This first one is not. This is from Toys for Bob. Today's drinking game is to uh, take a drink every time somebody points out that the Japanese version is called Magical Hoppers and is wildly different. It's got a different anime style. It's got some different cutscenes, a little bit of different characters. Today's drinking game is uh, count how many times that fact gets pointed out. <laughs> anyway, we're playing Pandemonium today. Yeah, we're gonna murder chat. I don't know, that seems to be the only thing people know about this game. And that's fair enough, because they're a little dank. So I don't blame anyone. This game also came out for Windows. It's worth mentioning, there's a PC version. It also came out for Saturn. I think it also came out for the N-Gage. I couldn't begin to fathom how it runs on there. God, I love the N-Gage. Alright, I'm in. All right, audio balancing. There's no audio yet with which to balance. Yeah, the N gauge. You don't remember the N gauge? I remember. Oh, 
Oh, let me... Let me turn shit off during the intro cutscene. What do you think, Sid? Let's see another one, Nikki. Oh, heck, why not? Shurka Chandomal. Sure. That was the coolest, but it needed more firepower. Yeah, really blast one. Well, which one should I do? This one. But this is a 10th level spell. We ain't got all day. Yeah, let's go, Toots. Make with the boo boo. Hey, qua yungo zore korech ba! Uh oh. What in the world? This is so boss. <laughs> well, that dates it quite nicely. A boon? What the heck's a boon? A wish, you idiot! And look! Here's a map! Let's go! Alright. Did you get all that? Our heroes accidentally got the entire town eaten with a spell that summoned a, a giant alien creature? The entire spell got- or the entire town got eaten, so we have to go unfuck things. Uh, Maple, thank you for the five whole years. Excalibur Productions, thank you for the 12 whole years. We've got incredibly strong faces. <laughs> no memory card saving in this game, I, th I don't think. I think it's all password saving. We might have to write down some passwords if we get cooked. I'm sure we will. Three button game. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, passwords. How long are they? Oh, they're not that bad. That's not too bad. It could have been, like, an entire page long. That's not terrible. Yeah, you fucked everything. Go and unfuck it. That's the entire plot. You accidentally cast a spell that you couldn't cast. Entire town got eaten. You gotta go uneat the town. <laughs> so this is a 2.5D platformer. We've got 3D character models, we've got 3D stages, but you only move left and right. It's happened many times since. You have two characters as well. We have uh, Fargus, the clown jester, clown jester man, and we've got Nikki, the person who cast a spell. They probably shouldn't have cast. They play slightly different as well. Let's go to the Skull Fortress, shall we? <laughs> Please do not say uneat. Alright, you got it. Oh, we're off to a good start. So, while it's technically a side scroller, the camera will constantly give us like 3D angles. Yo, it's a fresh salad. Yeah, the most PS1 ass PS1 game. We have an ice move. Fargus and Nikki! <laughs> Oopsie whoopsie, we did a fucky walkie. They definitely did Fargus and Nikki. I think Nikki had two K's, or maybe it was N I C K I, I have no idea. Well, let me turn this down a little bit. Thank you, Fargus and Nikki. There we go. Are you always holding left or right, or is the camera changing what you need to press? No, it's always left and right. The game will just figure it out. Oh, watermelon. Bounce on watermelons, yes. How does this handle? It's pretty responsive. There's not I got no complaints about the PS1 version. I've heard I've heard horror stories about the PC version from at least two or three people now, but I've never played that one. I've only played the PS1 one. I've got I've got no complaints. Other than, you know, it's hard to sometimes parse. <laughs> where your side scroll when the camera like does this shit it does become a little tricky to figure out like what is going on or what directions you need to hold 
Yeah, very bouncy watermelons. How are you all doing? How was your weekend? Like the 2D background? Yeah, we just got like a giant JPEG skybox. Ah, oh, health power up. This game actually starts off kind of difficult in that you only have two hearts. The top left corner of the screen, you only have two hearts to start with. You end up with like... If you get them all, you end up with like seven? Shorted Fuse! Thank you for the 18 whole years. You played the demo for this? Yeah, I think that's how- I think that was the first time I had played it too, was like a demo. I think so. I think that's right. We've got like multi-tiered stages as well. Lots of optional looking for things if you so desire. Chillin' lab and some Tekken, you love to hear it. When are we spending these coins on a tank? Sadly, no tanks to buy. You absolutely hate to see it. Yeah, not a hundred coins for a one-up. Sayara, thank you for the 32 whole years. Sadly, not a hundred coins for an extra life. I think you need, like, 300 or something ridiculous. Then again, they put quite a lot of them on each stage. There is no shortage for coins. Yeah, no Red Wolf in this game. <laughs> Don't worry, there'll be more Metal Max this year. Don't you worry. Sometimes it can also be difficult to tell where you're, like, going to land. Drem, thank you for the host. Sometimes it can be hard to tell where the hell you're going to land when the game is platforming like this. And as much as this game encourages you to, like, run full speed ahead, you really cannot run full speed ahead sometimes because they will... They'll just put enemies there and you are not going to have that much time to react... You kind of got to take it slow sometimes, depending on how the camera is uh, looking ahead. <laughs> 299. I think 300 is a one-up. We'll, we'll see. What is this game? We're playing Pandemonium. Ideally, we get around to both Pandemoniums because this is a two-part series. There were two of these games made. We'll see if we can get to both of them. Or we might just get cooked in this one. Ah, we did get a one-up. What do you mean, no tanks? Who else out here is buying tanks? How can there be no tanks? What about that display model? <laughs> Thank you, Brad, for the 100 tanks. Yeah, no tanks. At least. Yo, Klonoa, thank you for the dollar he do. Did Toys for Bob and Crystal Dynamics steal from me? Do I have to tell Bamco Namdai to sue them? <laughs> when did Klonoa come out? I feel like this predates Klonoa. Although I might be imagining that. I feel like this might have come out first. Yeah, okay, 97, I had a feeling. <laughs> it's like, I'm pretty sure this predates Klonoa. Thank you for the dollar redo, though, Quinoa. Yeah, no tanks in this game. At least, not this one. <laughs> yeah, I always thought this game was pretty cool. A lot of people didn't really care for this game because, you know, the PlayStation was like this new thing and people were like, I don't want to play a platformer on my cutting-edge PlayStation. 2D side-scroller, what the fuck is this shit? That's for babies! <gasps> we got the bonus stage! I think as long as you get 80% of the treasure, you get to go to a bonus level. We're gonna go to Speed Greed. 
where we can immediately see how fucking goofy this game is. Very good bowling pin sound. Our objective is to collect as many things as possible without getting eaten alive by the, uh, <laughs> like the red thing that chases after you. Sevenoske! Thank you for the 70 bits, Semenoske. Hey guys, just wanted to let you all know I was revived. Wait, what's that big fish? Oh god, <laughs> he's swallowing us all up. Oh, I'm cooking! Oh no, I'm no longer cooking. That didn't go too bad. Taekwondo referee, thank you for the dollar he do. Yeah, this is this is just collect as much shit as you can before you are swallowed alive by the red vortex. <laughs> you gotta crouch under a lot of these. Alright, fair enough. Only 27% of the treasure. That bonus level apparently goes for quite a while. You can buy this game for under a dollar on GOG. That's not bad. That's not a bad price. Although I have heard... I've heard bad things about the PC version of the game. Level 2, Hollow Stairway. Let's switch to our other character, Fargus. Fargus in this game is... To put it bluntly, probably not as good. Because Nikki gets two jumps. You might imagine that at a platformer, being able to jump twice is very important. Fargus gets one jump. What he gets instead is this cartwheel attack, which he can use to attack. He's got like a melee attack that he can kill shit with. It's not bad, but in a platformer, having two jumps is almost certainly more important. <laughs> the Diddy Cock of Pandemonium, yeah. Oh, that one-up just ran away from me. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, melee attack versus double jump. Technically, both characters get a projectile attack, as long as they have collected one. But it's okay, they buffed Fargus after this game. They realized their mistake, and they gave Fargus some much-needed buffs in the next game. Here, though, he's just kind of... <laughs> he's a lot more tricky to play the game with. Yeah, patch culture, I can't believe it. Had to patch Fargus to be better. That's okay. You remember playing a 3D platform with Bruce Willis and a gun arm? That's Apocalypse you're thinking of, I believe. Apocalypse is a very good game. It doesn't run so good, frame rate-wise, but it's very, it's very cool. Yeah, we gotta buff our boy Fargus, don't you worry, he'll get better. Gun arm game is one? Well, that's true. That's a, You definitely do have a gun arm in that game. But he said Bruce Willis. <laughs> so I assumed. Like Apocalypse, you're literally Bruce Willis. Pyro Boy, thank you for the 25 whole years. Should I be writing these down? Probably not. At least not yet. Back to Nikki. Gotta go to the Dungeon Tower. I think this game's got like 18 stages. We'll try and uh, we'll try and use both characters as much as we can. As much as Nikki is obviously the better one, uh, we'll use both. Yeah, Apocalypse is a pretty cool game. <laughs> Why write down the password? We're never gonna game over. You know what? You're right. You're absolutely right. Shh. 
shoot, target, receive, coin. This is very much collect all the coins you can, the game. You can be Bruce Willis in one if you squint hard enough. One is a very good game, too. I had fun with that one. Fun fact, if you beat Pandemonium 2 on the hardest difficulty without dying under a very small amount of time, you get a secret ending teasing the cancelled sequel where my father drops me off at lift, <laughs> only for me to survive the fall and get devil powers. Yeah, that probably happens. I think I remember that, yeah. That's definitely not bullshit, yeah. That's definitely not just Tekken. <laughs> Thank you, Fargus, for the dollar we do. 70 bits, oh boy. Semenosuke, thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy. I must collect every coin. You don't understand how badly I need this Pyrrhic victory. Ah, oh, you got me. You got me fair and square. Gotta be on your toes. Gotta stay on your toes in this game. They'll just throw fireballs at you from off screen. They don't care. Mo, thank you for the follow. I like this game's approach to level design. There's a, usually multiple ways you can go, which in a 2.5D platformer feels really odd the way that they kind of make twisting and turning. Whoops, the way they kind of make twisting and turning pathways. Gotta watch out for the spikes. I must collect every coin. Every single one. The multiple are the multiple paths to make sure Fargus doesn't get stuck without the double jump. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Whoop. Yeah, there's another fireball there. It's <laughs> just to be extra rude. Oh, that was a sudden jarring transition. That's all right, we missed some coins. <gasps> a key! Cool spiral stairs. Yeah, there's like two completely different ways we can go. We can go up the stairs, go this way. Or we can jump up here and go a completely different way. <laughs> it's so weird to see in a 2.5D game. <laughs> all these like ways that send you in wildly different directions. Does it matter which way you go? Not really. If you're being thorough in your exploration, you'll go everywhere anyway. Let's go back. Let's go back for a second. What we're gonna do right here is go back. What do we got this way? Oh, those fall, understood. <laughs> yeah, the duh sound that the enemies make. I think the game just calls the generic mooks. I think they just call them goons. Ah, there's the key. Gotta finish Tomba at some point. Tomba's a fun time. That's another fucking bizarre, <laughs> bizarre, wacky game. Yeah! Spiral stairs! Yeah, there's our first permanent health increase. There we go, now we have three hearts. We're gonna try to collect every single one of those. It's very important. Anybody remember sheep? I remember sheep for PS1. More speed, greed, yes. 
I've got the speed, I've got the need for, I've got the greed for... I have no fucking clue. <laughs> also, yeah, the ducks on the ground tell you when to duck. It's very nice of them. You just put ducks on the ground <laughs> when you're supposed to duck. Generally, we're just trying to get, like, a one-up out of this, if possible. Collect, like, 300 coins. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I got slowed down! You got me. You got me fair and square. Who remembers Wild 9? I remember Wild 9. I only remember seeing Wild 9. I've never actually played it myself. But what I seen of it, I thought was pretty neat. Oh no. Oh no. Go faster, Nikki. Okay. Everything's under control. I take it back. Nothing's under control. Whoop! You got me. I was supposed to duck. <laughs> I think we got a one-up out of that, so I don't really mind. Still 27%. That's the exact same amount of progress we got last time. That's all right. Let's go back to Fargus. Gotta go to the Lost Caves. We can see falling rocks. This is the most PS1-like choose-your-level type of a <laughs> type of a screen <laughs> Yeah, there was a one up early on in speed greed. We missed it twice now. Don't touch the bubbles. Oh no. The bubbles of doom. Fargus is generally good in stages that will have a lot of enemies to kill or otherwise do not require that much in the ways of platforming. But both characters can get a projectile if they find one. Right now we have like a shrink ray. We have this until we get hit. Let's us trivialize enemy encounters by just shrinking shit. Then you can just walk on them. Makes a very loud noise for some reason. You only know this game from the list in Game Shark. I remember the PS1 Game Shark menu. I remember punching in codes took forever. Valley! Murray, my money. 2022 has been an interesting year for retro gaming. If Sunsoft's rep becoming a VTuber wasn't it, then a manga artist joining Japan's parliament to advocate for retro preservation will. Weeps unite, Ken Akamatsu is leading the charge. <laughs> as a, as a non-weeb, I'll, I'll just, I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word for it that this is good news. Thank you, Felly. I did see that Bub got a YouTube channel. I did see that 1P Bub got a YouTube channel. That was exciting. <laughs> oh, secrets. Secrets. It just takes you back. That didn't do a goddamn thing. Alright, understood. So, D, thank you for the host. Yeah, what's a Lord Bill Bull? How did, um... How did, uh, Megami Tensei go? Have you conquered the impossible game yet? <laughs> Weeb adjacent! You know what, I'll take that. I'll take that, that's okay. <laughs> that's, yeah, why not? Yeah, when we don't have a projectile, dealing with these things becomes annoying because you have to you have to sneak underneath them. You gotta bait the jump <laughs> and deal with them afterwards. 
You spent like 10 hours in the final dungeon. Ooh, it's rough. Famicom RPGs are just built different. They don't really care if the player survives at all. <laughs> They're just out for blood. At least we don't have to platform on the spider web. We can just stand there. I'll take that. Come here. No, come here, though. Ahura! Ahura! Cool. An extra heart would be nice. That may be wishful thinking. <laughs> yeah, was that a damage boost to save time? You got me. You figured it. You figured me out. Oh, I need that. No, hold on. I need that. That's a fireball. Yes. Always try to have like a like a projectile handy. Yeah, the environments of this game are great. They're pretty. They get pretty weird in this game. They get even weirder in the next game. Trying to trying to catch the wind just enough to. Uh, there we go. This game does ask some tricky platforming of you, especially if you're using Fargus. Fargus is not built for platforming at all. Yeah, they built Fargus wrong as a joke. <laughs> no! I didn't block that overhead. That's all right. This game is pretty generous with checkpoints. Is he better at combat? Yes, because if Nikki doesn't have a fireball, whenever Nikki doesn't have a fireball, she does not have any attacks other than just jumping on dudes. Whereas Fargus, even without a fireball, still has a melee attack. So he's better at combat. The problem is, there's much more jumping in this game than there is combat. So their usefulness is not distributed evenly. But that's fine. That's okay. That's something they thought about in between games. Two ninety nine. We're about to get that extra life back. Shonen Sketcher. You love this game? Yeah, this game is pretty sick. I mostly remember playing this game when I was... Shit, I don't know. I must have been in, like, middle school or something. It was, it was quite some time ago. He can also... Fargus, he can also sort of get a farther jump than Nikki would be able to. When he spins in midair, he gets a very slight amount. He gets a very slight amount of extra lift. Very, very slight. No, I don't think I've done a Skull Monkeys stream. I'm aware of Skull Monkeys, I don't think I've gotten around to it yet. I also haven't streamed Skull Jagger, which is a completely different... ...although definitely more cursed video game. No, I haven't streamed Boom Bots. You know, I actually did almost stream Boom Bots once. I talked myself out of it, I don't remember why, but it's still on the to-do list. <laughs> you want a co-host for Skull Jagger? Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> you are fully authorized to tag along for Skull Jagger. Only 45% of the treasure. I can't help but feel as if Fargus is locked out of some of it. I don't think Fargus can reach all the coins. I just don't think he can. <laughs> Fungus Grotto, level 5!
Nice. Oh, thank goodness. I thought for sure I was about to take damage for doing that. Because I'm going to land on top of this pointy snail and I'm going to get hit, but mercifully, they are not lethal to the touch. There we go, we got our shrink ray back. I like that you can see it clearly following the 2D path. <laughs> I don't know why this one attack is so much louder than all of our other attacks, but that's okay. It's a very formidable game. But because of the maximum health increases we can get as we go, the game arguably gets easier. FROG! Ah yes, the frog gate. We went through the frog gate. Frog. Good. Very good. I agree. You love a dedicated frog stage. <laughs> five out of five game, easily. The game is usually pretty generous about death pits as well, in that there's not usually like a ton of them. Toby Bento Box, thank you for the 13 whole years. Usually there's not, like, a fuck ton of bottomless pits. There's more of them later on, obviously, but for the most part, you'll be dying from taking damage. Am I going to play Medieval this Halloween? Consider it considered. Oh, thank goodness we landed on something. <laughs> Don't need to be making blind jumps, but we did it anyway. Uh! Didn't we play Medieval recently? No. I think you've got me confused with somebody else. I cannot reach those. My frog. My frog cannot reach. Alright, fair enough. Now, I think this part we can get... I think this part we can get another heart upgrade. But we need to specifically not break any of these, like, stone arches that we're about to see. We have to make sure to duck under some of them. We gotta make sure to jump through some of them. Because you can only get, like, this heart upgrade if you... Oh, shit, we broke one. Alright, fair enough. Hold on, let's see if we, if we take a dive. Let's see if it lets us try again. Yeah, we have to specifically not break any of these. We get another heart container. Obviously, we want as many of these as we can get. Yeah, we're out here breaking shit. Easy does it. Easy does it. Every game should have a feature that turns you into a frog. Imagine Doom, but Doom Guy could turn into a frog. Would be a true masterpiece. I would argue it's already kind of a masterpiece, but... I do agree. What? We had to go in with more speed. Didn't have enough speed. There's a generous amount of coins here, though. I'm okay with this. Damn it. It's mostly the ones where you gotta jump through with like a hoop. Those are the tricky ones. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII, you can turn into a frog. There we go, we got that extra life back. Alright. 
get a running start. And then oh, whoop. We crouch. Take our time. Then we crouch. Cool, there's our extra... There's our hard container, and we got an extra life back. We ended up with the same amount of lives after all. Works for me. L-P-G-A-D-M-K-E. I will absolutely not remember that. But it's alright, because we're going to 1cc this game anyway. This game seems very simple. Yeah, it's a platformer. Move left and right, jump. There you go. <laughs> You're playing platformers. Uh, you got me. You got me fair and square. Yeah, simple game does not mean an easy one. This game does actually get... This game gets pretty unhinged later on. Don't mistake a simple game for an easy one. Oh my god, I'm getting shit thrown at me! I'm out of here, see you later. <laughs> you blind jumps. There's a few of those in this game. Not many, but every so often they do throw one at you. Okay, got our heart back. Yeah, the camera is always just going wherever the fuck it wants. I would argue that the second game gets a little bit better about it. The camera... And it more, uh, it, rather, it less frequently puts you in situations where you can't see what the fuck is going on. This game, however, I don't think they had quite figured it out. And so every so often, you do gotta make these jumps where you just cannot tell at all <laughs> where you are relative to what you're trying to land on. That's something that they tighten up in the second game. But we gotta get through this one first, don't we? Ugh, coins! Yes! We still have seven lives. It's not bad. We're doing okay. Can't complain. 25% of the treasure! We must have accidentally speed ran that stage and we just missed everything. That's alright. <laughs> just missed absolutely everything. OG Rayman. OG Rayman is very difficult, yeah. People go into Rayman and they expect, like, oh, it's gonna be, like, a simple little platformer. It's gonna be an easy game, and then they get fucking cooked, because Rayman is unhinged. Boss won the Shroom Lord! Any plock enjoyers? I'm a plock enjoyer. I have a plock emote. There you go. <laughs> we must fight the Shroom Lord. Oh my god. It's actually a very simple fight. We just gotta find whichever catapults have flames, and we just gotta launch the flames at them. That's all this fight is. It's pretty simple. Catapult a few flames at them. It's a very short boss fight. There, he's already dead. <laughs> it's an incredibly short boss fight. It's actually a lot longer if you pick Fargus, because... If you pick Fargus, you have to run to the right instead of being able to double jump over the uh over those gaps. Only Nikki can double jump those gaps, so it's a lot easier with Nikki. The burning desert. Back to Fargus. You completely missed it? Yeah, no, it's brief. It's very brief. Oh, finally. Finally the Dino Howdy stages. Ah, yes. You know, just lava in the desert. Lots of deserts have lava, I think. As well as wooden signs that are completely okay standing in lava. 
That's a normal. That's normal. It's a normal occurrence. Nothing odd about this. Music is picking up. Excuse me. Excuse me, Fargus. Ooh, thank you. The famous Nevada lava, yeah. The oh, rolling rocks. Get bowled over, stupid. I need this heart. Yes. Thank you. Oh no. The boulder, it just left. <laughs> the boulder. Or rather, we left without the boulder. Let's push that. Yeah, there we go. I don't think we have a way up there with Fargus. Unless we hop on those bugs. Maybe that's possible. Yeah, this game's got some jams in it. Oh no. You, sir, you seem very upset. <laughs> Alright, see you later. What? Gotta watch out for this guy, the spinny boy right here. He's a problem. Fargus, can you make this jump? Fargus, Fargus, my boy. Fargus, my boy, my son, can you? Oh, I see. I see, I see. They always have to give Fargus ways to make jumps because he just can't. <laughs> he just cannot. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor bastard. He just can't make jumps so good. He never learned how to jump good. Yeah, Fargus is wearing a uh, Converse. Is it's great. <laughs> He's got some chucks. Oh no. How do we feel about this jump noise? Paradox will! Speed! I am speed! Thank you for the 27 whole years, Paradox will. These guys make incredible noises. <laughs> I kinda love them, I won't lie. I kind of love them. Okay, I'll take that bounce. That could have been worse. We're living. Possible sound clip? Yeah, I don't know about that. But I do like, do like the goofy sounds they make. Oh no. I've awakened the beast! Yeah, the spin attack is questionable. It seems like it'd be really good, but it's actually more useful for, like... It's actually more useful for adding some forward momentum to your jump. It's better for that than it is actually killing dudes. There's an extra life down there. And an invincibility shield! Bless. Thank you, Lord Toys for Bob. Easy! Thank you for the thank you for the host. If you like this game, it'd be cool to speed run. I saw a little bit of the speed run before the stream. Speed run's like half an hour or something. But in practice, for like most people, the game will be like a couple hours at least. Somewhere around there. Is this worth playing? Yeah, I would say so. If you're hankering for, like, a PS1 platform that's a little wacky, yeah, absolutely.
Can you take me to the end, please? Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know which one led where. Excellent. You're not looking for another PS1 platformer to scar you again? Then definitely don't play The Adventures of Little Ralph. That game will that game will beat the shit out of you. But Branky wastes. Branky. Branky. Really? That's a word. Surely. Branky. Yeah, Tell me more. Tell me more. Definition. No, not cranky. Don't give me the cranky definition. All it says... <laughs> it says ostentatious. It says it's Scottish dialect. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling very branky today. This is the first time. This is the first I've seen this word. This is a brand new word. They ju we just invented it. Fucking new word just dropped. I think I can bounce on you, right? Hey, you. Can you like launch me? No, no, no. But do it better though. No, but do that better though. Thank you. What a guy. What a guy. What a lad. Wah! Okay, we landed on something. That's good. Oh, cool spiral! Wah! Hey, we landed on something. As long as you land on something, you're good. Into the Sarlacc pit. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. I've awakened the beast. Please, I beg you. Alright, we're living. Who dares? Retrograde Tom! Thank you for the raid. How are things in the Tom verse? We're playing Pandemonium 1 and 2 today. A pair of PS1 platformers. I have turned into a rhinoceros. I understand. Yeah, thank you for the raid, Tom. What were what were y'all up to? How did the Tom stream go? I love I love this goofy rhinoceros. I love him so much. <laughs> oh, we can just run into everything. Yes! Gabriel Knight 2? I've always meant to get around to the Gabriel Knight series. I still haven't. I've been meaning to. They look cool. You wanted to try these games? They're pretty good. These games are pretty sick. They get, uh, they get pretty difficult, though, both of them. The first game is Tim Curry Screams. Doesn't... There's a Frankenstein point-and-click that's got Tim Curry in it, too. I don't remember the name of it. There's, like, a like a Frankenstein-Tim Curry joint. It's pretty good. Is it just called Frankenstein? Okay. Is it the one on Sega CD? It might be. I don't remember. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> what an anti-air. Not a problem. 
I feel like if I jump in any of these pits, we're just gonna die. I feel like we'll just die if we do that. Thank you for the one-up. Ten extra lives. We're doing quite well for ourselves. So far, only 42% of the treasure. This is very clearly not a 100% treasures run. This is gonna be spotty. This is gonna be real spotty. Frankenstein through the eyes of the monster. I believe that was the name of it. Yeah, that sounds correct. Oh no. Oh no, Fargus moment. Eh. Eh. Who? Eh. Poor, poor guy. Poor bastard. <laughs> Every time we pick Fargus, there's just shit we suddenly can't reach no more. <laughs> poor guy. Imagine being the character with one jump in a platformer with another character that has two jumps. That is a no Fargus zone. He's definitely locked out of certain parts of the of the game. There are some places you just can't reach. But that's okay. Because he's generally better at combat. Mentally numb, thank you. He's better at combat, usually. He's got a melee attack that Nikki don't got. Both characters have fireballs as long as they can collect a power-up and not get hit immediately. Coins, yes! Coinage! They're not down to clown. There's a lot of... a lot of clown... A lot of clown in this game. We're, we're just going straight down to Clown Town today. He's more of a jester, I suppose. Yeah, this game it was a crazy mess. That is a good way to describe it. There are times when you're playing this game where you just cannot parse at all what is going on or what you're looking at. Sometimes you just have no idea. But I suppose it's called Pandemonium for a reason. Yeah, it's clown. It's clown time. It's always clown time. Wait until we play some actual clown games. Granted, Fargus is more of a jester. He's only... He's not a real clown. He's just practicing. <laughs> Wait till we play some actual clown games. We gotta play Kid Clown and Crazy Chase or whatever. <laughs> whatever it was called. Mentally Nub, thank you for the host. I think I'm down with the clown, yeah. I think so. Yeah, Fargus is more of a more of a court jester type. That's okay. He's still a clown to me. Yeah, I think it was Kid Clown and Crazy Chase or something like that. That game looks brutally difficult. This game also gets pretty rough, but we have a nice stockpile of lives, at least, to cushion the blow later on. There's a nice, nice little woodpecker down there. Look at him go. I love him. Oh, is there a Krusty game? Is there a Krusty, whoop, is there a Krusty the Clown game? Wait, there is, wasn't there? Wasn't it Krusty's Funhouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I only played Bort games. We played some... We did some Simpsons games on this stream before, but it was all Bort. We played a bunch of Bort games because he's got most of the games. We gotta play the Krusty game. Do the Bork Man. 
Ah, you always move with the platform, so you don't have to you don't have to make many corrections with your jump. What is down here? Ah, extra coins. You don't have to you don't have to overcorrect. Not too bad. Not the rolling logs. Not the spiders! Okay. Everything's under control. Built up Hodakto. Yeah, lots of spiders. Not even just on this stage, just in this game in general. I hear more rolling logs. But I don't see any rolling logs. I'll wait. I know one of them's about to drop by, thank you. Get another heart container, at least. I think after this stage, we get another, um... I think there's another heart container on the next one. Trying to absolutely max out our hearts. 66%, that's not the bad. The Frankenstein game mentioned earlier is a PAL-exclusive Saturn, of the few in fact. Speaking of Frankenstein's monster, what is his favorite type of cheese? Monster. Somebody shoot that guy. Thank you for the 100 Frankenstein facts. I didn't actually know that, thank you. PAL exclusive on the Saturn. Yeah, I can't imagine there's that many of those. Canopy Village. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's another heart container here. Munster's some good-ass cheese. What's your favorite cheese, chat room? What is your cheese tier list? Tell me everything. What? Yeah, those enemies are probably the most annoying one in the game. Oh no, I got we gotta go. There's an enemy type that shows up right around here that's probably the most annoying in the game in that they throw projectiles at you that also track you vertically. So if you're below them, it'll curve downwards, and if you're higher up, it'll curve upwards. There we go. And the game just throws lots of them at you from this point. Lactose intolerant? I'm sorry to hear that, friend. That is unfortunate. We gotta hop across these leaves. Go, Nikki, go. Oh, we made it. Takes us to a secret area. I think if we just line this up in the middle... I think if we stay in the middle here, there's our heart container. Yeah, there we go. We definitely missed some shit. <gasps> Turtle! Yes! Look at him go. I love him, oh my goodness. I love this turtle. <laughs> yeah, every so often there's just you just run into these things that let you uh, transform into another creature. The turtle form uh, probably has the worst platforming and the worst offense in the game. But if you hold down, you just go into your shell and you cannot take damage while you're doing that. This will come into play later. <laughs> There we go, five hearts. But you see what I mean, like, the game... The game is more likely to kill you with damage than bottomless pits. 
There aren't, like, that many bottomless pits in this game that you have to worry about. And because you can get more heart containers, like, the farther in you get, the game actually seems like it gets easier. Almost. Just because you have more hearts to work with. Like, it starts off pretty brutal. You can only make one mistake. Thank you for asking about our favorite cheese. This discourse brought all the Gouda in us. <laughs> Gouda! <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I guess T I guess John TTS doesn't know that word. He never learned he never went to cheese school. He never learned about Gouda. <laughs> That's pretty good. No, I want this coin! Yes! I think the purple coins are worth 25. Which is big in a game where you need 300 to get a 1-up. How do I reach this? How do I... How do I reach... How do I... But how do I... Okay. Alright, understood. Oh, I see. We might have to go up and over. Aha! Yes. Yes, indeed. That's the proper Dutch way to pronounce it. I learned something today. I don't think John TTS is Dutch, though. But he might be. We don't know. We should ask him. Yo, what's up, Goaty? Playing some Pandemonium today. You played this not that long ago as well, I think. Didn't you play this like, uh... Like a month or two ago, maybe? I'd always meant to get this one off of my to-do list. <laughs> you like the camera? This game's camera will absolutely get you killed just whenever it wants. I think it was pretty ambitious to have, like, 3D winding paths in a 2.5D game, though. It really does give you the illusion... It really does give you the illusion that it's a 3D platformer, even if it's really not. Uh oh, those platforms fall. Understood. Noted. Sometimes you just absolutely cannot see shit. Sometimes you just can't. <laughs> Sometimes you just pray for the best. The backdrops look great, I agree. LMG boy. Good password. Pandemonium man should fight Klonoa guy. Good camera and a 3D platformer is a myth. I would say that, um... You know a 3D platformer that I do think has a good camera? Jumping Flash. In that, you know, it's first person, and it points you to the ground so you can see where the fuck you're gonna land. But that's a little bit of a special case. Ah, oh, I love Jumping Flash. We gotta get around to Jumping Flash. I don't know if I meant to pick Fargus. I don't know if I meant to pick Fargus on this stage. We're gonna roll with it, but I don't know if Fargus is the play here. It looks like there's a lot of enemies, though. I frame the bear traps? Yeah. Did anyone play Spider? Yeah, I played Spider. That's the one where he gets, like, a flamethrower and a gas cannon. Between this, Rayman, and Cheesy, which of them is the most unhinged platformer to you? Ooh, um, Cheesy. Yeah, no, it's not even close, yeah. Cheesy is the most unhinged PS1 platformer, it's not even close. There is not a sane bone in that game's body. No, I want this coin. No, I want these coins. No, I want these coins, okay. Come here. Yeah, those enemies are the problem. 
They have a fucking, they have a projectile and they're pretty, they got pretty good aim with it too. This game is insane, but in a way that you can like actually play the game, yes. I would argue that is not true of Cheesy, especially for some of the later stages, which are just memorization. Where like, if you make one mistake, you just die. This game doesn't really throw any of those at you. It's a little bit more civilized. Fargus, you just can't- Ah, there we go! When's the cheesy one, CC? No. No, I've done my time. <laughs> I've done my time, friend. You can't make me go back. We did two cheesy streams, and we eventually did beat the game. <laughs> Absolutely, I've done my time. I'm out. <laughs> eh, eh, thank you. Yeah, we gotta bring nothing excess back for the cheesy one CC. <laughs> the cheesy speed run. Has anyone speed ran cheesy? I feel like some somebody has to have, right? There has to have been a hero out there who speed ran cheesy. I think I need my. I think I need that rolling log. Where did I leave that thing? I think I need it. You. You come here. This game was on the end gauge, yes. Although I think it had, like, several fewer levels. This game has, like, 18 stages. The end gauge one, I think, has, like, 10 or 11. They cut a bunch of them out. Probably due to space constraints. Oh, those fall. Whoop. There's a single Valiant player. Guaranteed world record, if anyone just... Or at the very least, if somebody speedruns Cheesy right now and they post their time, they have, like, at minimum, second place. Thirteen lives. It feels good. Feels good to see number go up. Fargus? Eh, Fargus moment. Eh, huh. Fargus? Fargus, I beg you. Eh. Oh no. Huh. Fargus moment. <laughs> he just can't. Huh. Alright, fair enough. You win this time, wooden platform. What does Fargus have that the girl doesn't? A spin attack. He's got a melee attack. So even in the situation where you lose your fireball power-up, Fargus still has a means of attack. Nikki does not. Nikki has to resort on jumping on dudes. Whereas Fargus always has this spin attack that he can kill things with reliably. Is it worth the lack of a double jump? Absolutely fucking not. But whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's very Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong. They were smart to put Dixie Kong in Donkey Kong Country 3. I don't know how I feel about the child, the, the monkey, the, the monkey child, but I'm glad that they brought Dixie Kong back. <laughs> no, Fargus still does not have a double jump in the second game. However, Fargus is still definitely better in 2 than he is in 1. You are correct that he's much better in that game, but he still only has one jump. They found a different way to make Fargus good. And, uh, I guess we'll talk about that when we get there. Yeah, Kitty Kong, that was the name, sorry.
Yo, stay home! Thank you for the two whole years. Ooh! One up gains. I feel as if I'm supposed to wait for a platform. Let's wait. Can I get one going the Oh, it does go the other way. I should have hopped on. Fuck. Aha! Yeah, <laughs> they gave Fargus a gun. That's the buff he needs. Although, I suppose if you were trying to make the game more difficult for yourself, if you were trying to, like... Shit. We didn't jump. We just ran straight up. If you were trying to, like, make a self-imposed challenge, I suppose, you could just pick Fargus the whole time. The game is perfectly completable with just Fargus, if you so desire. Alright, you got me. You got me fair and square. <laughs> Why does me tapping the button very gently produce, like, full speed movement? That is, like, unique to this stage. I don't know why. Alright. Gotta... Just gotta get on that platform. I'll take it. Good enough for me. It's difficult to make precise movements in these conditions. You have to class? Have fun? Is have fun the right... Is have fun the right... Uh... Turn of phrase, I don't... I don't think that's right. Sir Retro, thank you for the host. Don't think have fun is the right turn of phrase. There we go, we made it. Only a hey, five seven K G G G E B M. Hancho's log mill. <laughs> he does look very happy when we beat his stage. I like that he slips and slides on these platforms. How many levels are there? Like 18? Something like that. Now, there's something going on... There's something odd going on with our control at the moment. Because we don't seem to... have access to minute movement anymore. It looks like just pressing left or right gives us, like, a full speed... dash. Hold on, let's put in that password we just got. Let me drop one of these bad boys first, just in case it uh, doesn't give us all of our hearts. Yeah, they're like mini dashes. I don't think that's supposed to be happening. Let's just back up, put in our password. See if that fixes our problem. We're supposed to be moving slowly and gradually. There we go. I don't know what that full speed dash bullshit was. <laughs> that's okay. There we go. Now it plays like a video game. Very odd. <laughs> no idea what that was about. Yeah, this game is a kid. We have full hearts on the same life. Yeah, I guess that's a... I guess that works out. We lost all of our coins, but... You know, small price to pay for the game controlling how it's supposed to. Game was pretty popular here. I thought, I thought people generally liked this game as well. Although it's to my understanding, some people didn't, you know, care for... A 2D platformer on the PS1. They're like, oh, this is supposed to be cutting edge. We can't be bothered with this side scrolling bullshit. But generally, I thought, I think people, I, I think people like this game. 
Most of the people I know that had the game, they think back on it fondly, if nothing else. Oh, I had to duck that. I didn't even parse that there was a saw blade there. I definitely just heard a Jet Set radio sample. I heard a very distinct ha sound that I recognize from Jet Set Radio. Fargus ain't that bad for this bit. Because you can use the, uh... You can use the spin attack for a little bit of extra horizontal movement. Just a little bit of extra oomph. It's alright, let's see where they checkpoint us. Is this game difficult? Yeah, it gets pretty rough the farther in you get. I wouldn't say it gets, like, unfairly difficult. But it does get pretty tough, yeah. I wouldn't say it's as hard as Little Ralph. <laughs> Little Ralph is fucked up. Fargus is in fact wearing sneakers, yes. He's got some chucks. There we go. Turtle. Yes. Mm. Is this game a Euro platformer? This is a Toys for Bob joint. Who I suppose people... More popularly, know from the the Crash and Spyro trilogies, uh, Crash Bandicoot 4, tragically absorbed into the Call of Duty mines. Oh yeah, that might have been Vicarious Visions, yeah, I think you're right. Oh, I can't believe we made that dodge. As you can see, if you hold down while in turtle form, you gain glorious iframes. You can just go right through spikes, They, it, you don't have to care about them at all. Yeah, it might have just been Spyro. I think you're right. Does Bernie have iframes? Yes. And if you didn't know that little factoid about the turtle form, here's your knowledge check. They throw one of these bad boys at you. They're gonna throw two different buzz saws at you. If you didn't know that you can hold down to cover yourself, oh well. Take a hit, idiot. There's your knowledge check. <laughs> yeah, did you read the manual? You will die if you haven't. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Mr. Mistress, thank you for the follow. The goon honcho. Oh, you're a big fella. This is a pretty simple boss fight. He's a big boy. He's a very big boy. Oh, 
Yeah, we just we just gotta oh fuck we just gotta bounce on those balloons and then bounce on his head. Get the bouncer. We gotta bounce off of these uh, balloons that we we gotta move the fire over to the hot air balloon and then jump off the balloon and then just bounce on his head. We just gotta do that like five times. It's pretty simple. The problem is trying not to land on the buzzsaw after you do it. Because it's very easy to land on a buzzsaw. Have I noticed Comic Zone will get a movie? Yeah, I've heard. I don't know how... I don't know how you make that work exactly in the year of our Lord, 2022. But I guess we'll see. Yeah, expectations are pretty low. Featuring Dave Batista. Dave Batista as Sketch Turner. <laughs> That's the funniest casting I've ever heard. Ah, fuck. Let's try that again. I can't think of any funnier casting. His little nosy. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's all right. The strat. We have the strat down to a science now. We're going to be A-OK. -okay. Oh, we got to lure him away. I can do a full lap. I don't mind. I can just do a lap. Can't believe we got over that <laughs> that buzz saw. What? Are you doing up there? what? I'm not sure what that interaction was, but I feel robbed somehow. Yeah, we got scammed. There we go. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> yeah, you cannot fast fall in this game. Sorry, we got him. Jumped too high? You don't have any choice in how high you go when you do that. You just go as high as you go. Hancho's airship! I think this stage has another heart container. Like, right at the start of it. <laughs> What's the story with these models? What do you mean? 3D models, 2D platformer. <laughs> I don't know what else you're looking for.
that a double jump? Yeah, Nikki's got a double jump. No, I needed that hard container. Huh? Huh? Eh. Huh? There we go. Resident Kohai, thank you for the four whole years. The jump sound effect, I agree, it's pretty strong. It's got a nice boing sound to it. I'm going the wrong way. Here we are. Into the cannon. Oh yeah, sure is an airship. We're just being shot at from every which way. Got the Donkey Kong Country barrels. Thank you. Got another heart back. These missiles you're not allowed to jump on. Most things in this game you're allowed to jump on. These, like, JPEG missiles. <laughs> the completely stationary Nerf football missiles. You cannot. If you try to jump on those, you will take damage. Ah, yes, the dragon form. Yes. Getting strong Crash Bandicoot vibes. I believe this predates Crash by a little bit, but I might be wrong. Either way, yeah, that's, that's a close enough comparison. Crash Bandicoot actually has full 3D movement, though, whereas this game is always 2D, even if it's presented in 3D. It can make maneuvering a little tricky, can make jumps a little tricky to kind of figure out where the fuck you're going. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot has full 2D levels. What I'm saying is this game has none that are 3D. Have I seen the recent Sonic the Hedgehog tribute albums? I don't keep up with Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm not a not a Sonic the Hedgehog consumer. Yeah, bug. Bug for the Sega Saturn. Now there's a game. <laughs> Dragoon Sky Fort. I think for the most of the rest of the game, we're going to want Nikki. Because now we're getting into this, like, mid-air shit. Where if you fall, you absolutely die. And we're going to need the uh, increased safety of Nikki's double jump. So we're going we're gonna, to... This is mostly... We're in the Nikki arc of the game. <laughs> Clown time is over. How was Metal Max? I had a wonderful time. I was happy that people seemed to enjoy Metal Max. There were a few people in the Discord that started their own playthroughs of Metal Max. I, I was overjoyed to hear that people uh, were inspired to play the game themselves. Absolutely over the moon about it. What the fuck? Alright, the lesson here is don't run full speed. <laughs> They'll creep up on you. They'll there you gotta you gotta watch out. Those enemies, they they'll just show up. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you got me. Okay, they can be jumped on. That's good info to have. They can, in fact, be jumped on. Come here. Yeah, you. Yeah, you, come here. Oh, what a coward. Staying up there where I can't reach. Nice. Yeah, they are mortal. Thank goodness. I definitely don't feel safe anymore. Like, for the platform... When it comes to the platforming of this game, I no longer feel safe. We're not in the safety zone of this game's platforming anymore. Now it's you fall, you die. We're on fucking Rainbow Ride. Dead end. A dead end. How can you do this to me, Toys for Bob? I trusted you. <laughs> Would SNES Metal Max be a comparable experience compared to the original? Yeah, it's a remake of the same game. Uh, yeah, you go to the same places, you generally do the same things, but they added a lot more. There's a lot of new items, there's new wanted outlaws for you to hunt. New music tracks. Uh, they borrowed some music tracks from Metal Max 2 in that version of the game. But generally, it follows the same beats. I got my one-up. Toys for Bob made Skylanders? I think that's true. Didn't they? I don't know. I'm not a Skylanders expert. Was Skylanders, like, a big thing? Because, like, I'm aware of Skylanders. I understand the concept. But did anybody, like, play that? I didn't... I, at least I don't know anybody that did. If chat room is saying that Skylanders was big, I'll just take your word for it. I personally... I didn't know a single person who was in it, uh, was in on Skylanders. <laughs> I'll, I'll just... I'll trust you. I'll trust the chat room that it was big. Oh, no. Not these guys. Okay. At least we can shoot these missiles relatively safely with the dragon form. Ooh, there's a one-up up here. Three hearts and an extra life. Absolutely worth it. Love to be rewarded for exploration. There's not much rhyme or reason to the flight patterns of these missiles, though. They just go. Oh, the propeller blades can hit you. Gauntlet Legends with action figure DLC. That doesn't sound too bad. What do we got up here? Absolutely fuck all, I understand. No, we got a little too close to that fire. Could you imagine Fargus doing some of this? I sure, I sure as hell don't want to think about it. <laughs> what? There was a one up down there. Wait. Eh. Fuck. I'll wait for that platform to come back. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm not in a hurry. I crave that extra life. I don't mind. I can wait. Uh, 
You got me. You got me fair and square. We still missed. Do it better. Do it better, streamer. There we go. That's what you love to see. Skylanders was ruined when they added jumping. What an outlandish feature to add to a video game. Yeah, this game's verticality is pretty good. There's a lot of stages where you're almost exclusively going straight up or straight down. Or at least long stretches of stages that have you... ...going mostly vertical. Oh, I do want this, though. I do want this one. My ride is leaving me. Oh, no. I got my heart, and then I took a hit. But we still got a purple coin out of it. As a net gain of 25 coins, if nothing else. Yeah, Alias, he looks great! <laughs> no, it looks really cool in that version. We'll get to that one, too, at some point this year. Aljo Epab! Good. Cloud Citadel. We're fine. Easy 1cc. We got 12 lives to spare. Easiest 1cc of my life. Granted, we already went to the password screen to resolve some kind of a control issue. But technically, it's a spliced run. <laughs> but who's counting? Yeah, it really is Rainbow Ride. Now there's literally rainbows to ride. Played Metal Saga all weekend. Yes, you'd love to hear it. Metal Saga is the one we're getting to next. We're going to play... Uh, that'll be the next Metal Max we play. We're going to play Metal Saga because it was the first one to come out officially in English. We had to show Metal Max 1 first because it was how the series began. But I figure it's fine to jump to the first official English release. Oh no. We gotta wait for the rainbow. Oh, we got a lot of coins out of that that we missed. I don't particularly mind. This level might be rude. This level's not too bad, actually. The level of danger you're in is comparatively low. This level doesn't have that many enemies, for example. Metal Saga have frog race. You'll simply have to stay tuned. <laughs> oh, no. Huh. Wait for the rainbow, I suppose. There we go. Take a rainbow ride, TM. Somehow I've completely forgot that those things spout fire in that short a period of time. Just completely forgot. <laughs> yeah, this is the new enemy type, these tornadoes in here. <laughs> They're probably the most dangerous thing on the stage. Even the platforming on this stage isn't too bad, because you usually have, like... You usually have something that you can land on. There's not really many bottomless pits on this one. Yeah, Toys to Life games. That's what Skylanders was. I had forgotten what the name of that genre was. There's a few... There's a few other ones like that. There was a... I wish I remembered the name of it. It was a Japan-only, like, robot game that was Toys to Life. 
for it was a PS1 Japan exclusive like robot toys to life game. I for the life of me cannot remember it. John Search Engine! Marry me with my money. Hello, Search was my mother's maiden name, thanks for asking. <laughs> anyway, I notice an alarming amount of people asking streamers questions that they could ask me, John Search Engine, to get a real answer. I'm almost 30 years old. How has no one heard of me? Very good. <laughs> Which search engine, though? Which search engine is John Search Engine? Thank you for the dollar he do. Whoop! See what I mean? It's pretty easy to land on things on this... on this stage. Yeah, Bing? I used Bing, uh, a couple days ago, just recreationally to see if it would accurately give me what I asked for, and it did not. So, one star. <laughs> yeah, no, just for fun, just to see, just to see if Bing would give me what I asked for. What did I ask for? I think I asked for Metal Max, uh, and it gave me, like, a roofing company. Or some shit I don't remember. <laughs> Google did the same thing. <laughs> Can't believe it. Nobody knows about Metal Max. <laughs> None of the search engines have any idea. Oh no, I tried to tried to shoot the tornado. Okay, at least we landed on something. Lost a bit of progress, but not too much. Yeah, you gotta shoot the tornado. Tornadoes can, in fact, be shot. You can shoot and kill the wind. It sort of works. There you go, see what I mean? You can absolutely shoot tornadoes in this game. Wait for my rainbow. Thank you. This platforming is getting a little rough. Cool, we made it. Can you nuke a tornado? I don't think we have any nukes in this game. You can shrink them with your shrink ray if you have one. You can freeze them. Ifrit Palace! We're getting to the end of this game now. <laughs> e. Yeah, Ifrit, no relation. You can see enemies just flying by. The wind currents are even stronger on this stage. Lots of goofy... Lots of goofy cloud hopping in this wind tunnel. It gets a little bit difficult to figure out what is going on. Oh is where the game gets real tricky. Yeah, the stage blows. Quite a lot of blowing on this one. Nice. We still have 13 lives, though. We're doing okay. The next game is even more generous with extra lives. Probably because they assume the player's going to need them, 
and they're not entirely wrong. Oh, I missed a key! There was a key in there! I don't know what it would have done. I don't know how badly we needed that key. Let's try that again. Where's that key? Aha! I'll just assume that was important. I'll just assume that we needed that. Oh, I see. You want me to go... I see, I see. I see what you're getting at. You want me to... Oh, I can't quite go that way. I think we have to open that. Can we go this way? We cannot go this way either. We must discover the path they want us to take. Looks like we're more or less relegated to a straight line. There aren't any additional keys. This just goes in a loop. Here's a quarter, Fats. Get out of town. No, we must have to. It must be that. It must be this way. No, I don't think there's another key. Thank you for the quarter. Was there? I don't think I saw another one. Oh, there is another key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see it. I see. I see. I see. I'm smelling what you're stepping in. <laughs> Black Shield Legion. Thank you for the quarter. Sorry, we got our key. We're good to go. Actually, we might have to recollect them. For the most part, this game's checkpoint system is pretty good. But I don't think I think I think we were just uh, I think we were just barely off from getting that one. Yeah, we stepped on a spike. That's okay. We got six hearts again. This is absolutely a net positive. get this key first. Don't forget the key. There we go, and then we get this one. Seven ah. bits, oh boy. Maple they for the 70 bits, oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> That's a rude place to put missiles that track. Come here. Got a second dog in Metal Max too. Yeah, there's uh, a great many dogs in Metal Max. Some of them are friendly, some of them are not. But there are a great many dogs with weapons attached to them. I have. There we go. I assume we're fishing for keys in here again. Okay, key get. There's another one! No! We gotta do another lap. Don't miss the keys. There's quite a lot of them. This area. Okay, right, that one's gonna be tricky to get. There we go. Is that it? Is that all of them? Are we good? I think we're good. And we just gotta exit. Nice. This stage, I believe, is our last heart container. We can reach our maximum of seven. At least I think seven is the maximum. I've heard that it's eight. But for the life of me, I've never found an eighth heart in this game. I don't think that's real. Laser Bazooka goes through Dust Franken's defense. Yeah, the Laser Bazooka is generally the hotness if you're fighting on foot. This is some precise shooting and platforming you're asking of me. <laughs> game pretty easy like Mario. Even that might not be true, depending on which Mario we're talking about. Like, Lost Levels is pretty fucked up. Uh. 
Are we just we just doing a blind jump, are we? Okay, cool. Where's the floor? There ain't no floor here. Just just an upwards wind current. All right, so we have to... At the top of this trail of coins is the final heart, so you gotta go up here. You gotta go down, you gotta build upwards momentum, try to fucking launch yourself into space to reach it. Oh, it just barely didn't reach. Do it again. We need more lift. Eh, almost, almost, almost. You just gotta, you just gotta go in with more speed. We're very close. We're very close. You just gotta get there. We can reach it. It's okay. We can reach. Yeah, I gotta go to infinity. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, I believe that's the maximum amount of health in the game. I don't think there's any more than seven hearts. Level 17, Frozen Cavern. You know what? Let's try Fargus again. We can try to use Fargus one more time. It's gonna be fucked up if this stage is like pure platforming. <laughs> Seems tame so far. Anyone seen the Buzz Lightyear movie? I haven't. I, I definitely haven't. I didn't even realize that movie was out, I'll be honest with you. Wait! Yes, invincibility. We're gonna go to the world premiere of the Comic Zone movie. I don't have the highest expectations for a Comic Zone movie. Expectations for any video game movie generally are subterranean. Video game movie expectations are incredibly low. <laughs> I got a heart and also got hit. You know what? Fair enough. I suppose this isn't really platforming, it's just... You're in a wind current, and there are bullet bills after you. They seem to be stuck on geometry. Oh, never mind. They are no longer stuck on geometry. Yeah, I don't frequently go to the theater, I'll be real with you. Not much of a... Not much of a watch things at the theater guy. Dragon! Dragon form is always great. Never mind. We did not block that overhead. Let's try that again. <laughs> Once more with gusto this time! Easy. Easy does it. Careful descent. You projectile peep. Cool. We're just jumping down, huh? I don't trust you. Okay. <laughs> Never seen a less trustworthy sign. Just jump off this cliff. You'll live, maybe. Oh, 
What I do if I did just die, I would send toys for Bob a strongly worded tweet. Or at least I'd consider it before uh, saving it to my drafts in cowardice. This ain't a bad level for Fargus, honestly. It's primarily... It's primarily wind puzzles. It's not really, like... Jump around. Now, if the game could tell us which stages were more Fargus-friendly... You know, absolutely 10 out of 10. But sometimes you, you definitely feel like you need Nikki's double jump. <laughs> Cool. Not too bad. We're definitely missing a lot of the treasures. But I suppose it's okay. Storm Temple! Just started driving recently, and I gotta say, I'm glad I don't have to worry about you driving. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. That's the last thing I want to see is me driving. Thank you, Fungus, for the dollar do. What's this game's story? The character we're playing as right now, Nikki, had a spell book. And she was uh, toying around, casting different spells. And one of the spells that she cast, it accidentally got the entire town where she lives eaten by a space monster. So we're currently going to something called the Wishing Engine. So that we can have the wish granted to unfuck the entire town. That's about it. We're gonna go get our wish granted at the wishing engine to save the town that we accidentally got eaten by a space monster. Who's the jester? Fargus is just a friend of Nikki's. They're in cahoots. They're just <laughs> they're just friends, I guess. What? All right, we got bumped the fuck off the map. <laughs> no DI. It was kind of Fargus's fault, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> just definitely just yeeted us off the entire level. Yeah, Fargus did encourage her to uh, cast a more powerful spell. So since Dino doesn't normally stream on Tuesday, what? I wanted to mention that my birthday is tomorrow. In effect, that I won't see some of chat until Wednesday. Kazoo. Yo, merry birth, Miss Tomorrow, Felly. Have a have a merry old birth, Miss. I hope you have a grand old swell time. I'm being chased by a lightning orb. I don't feel safe. So this is the final stage before the final boss. This one gets pretty rough. Is this pandemonium? Yes. I could never bear it. How dare you? <laughs> this is pandemonium, though, yes. Okay, we're living. We're living, just barely. It's a good thing we have so many excess lives, because, uh... This is the stage we're gonna need them! Dude, guess thank you for the host. Ah, fuck. If ever there was a stage where you needed a lot of extra lives, this was it. This one gets rough. There are a lot of these, like, uh, like faces, like floating demon faces. It's whenever, whenever we're surrounded by darkness. You know, Sandopolis Act 2, for example. That's when they, um, attack you. So you want to try and light torches to keep them at bay. It's very Sandopolis. Sure. 
Should be a key around here. Where is that key? Ah, it's up there. No, I have not streamed Skull Monkeys. Would you believe that that's not the first time I've been asked that today? It's very odd. All the Skull Monkeys fans are in attendance. Yeah, I gotta light torches to spook them. It's just inferior neverhood. Not to be confused with everhood, which is a different thing. You don't know of me playing point-and-click adventure games? You must not have been here for Cyberpunk Adventure Week. We had a great many Cyberpunk point-and-click adventures during Cyberpunk Adventure Week. Yeah, I haven't streamed Shadowgate yet. Shadowgate's been on the agenda for a while, I just haven't gotten around to it. I saw Mr. Radon play the N64 Shadowgate, and it looked... ...fucking phenomenal. Okay, so we have a- here's the new stage gimmick. You have to hide inside these glass boxes... ...because a giant GHOST STORM... Whoop. A giant ghost storm will blow you away every so often. So you have to watch it. You have to you gotta look out for the ghost nados, yeah. So you have to constantly just, like, take cover. And that's basically the gimmick of the stage at this point. We did not make it inside the box. You can still land safely. It's just a matter of, like, you're not gonna know where you're gonna land. <laughs> You thought it was a checkpoint? It does look like a checkpoint, I agree. Into my belt, but into my safety box, yes. Hey, that sort of works. No complaints for me. What? Oh, thank God, we landed on something. <laughs> Can I get to the door in time? Nice. Thank you, Sayara, for the 100 zoinks. Don't you worry, there'll be more Scooby-Doo uh, in October. Is this game just Crash Going Joker? Yeah, pretty much. Every October, we play some Scooby-Doo games. Don't you worry, there'll still be more. <laughs> Cowardly Karupa! <laughs> Alright, we're at the wishing engine, the final boss! It's just an eyeball shooting a cannon. It's just an eyeball. I couldn't tell you why the wishing engine is an eyeball. That's, be that's best left to the, to the great minds at Toys for Bob. Yeah, the voice is fantastic, I agree. 
first we have to break all of these. Uh, we gotta break all these little crystals here. We have to unlock the cannon that we can use to fire back at him. There we go. Now he's mad. Oh no! Then we have to use. We have to roll around. <laughs> we have to roll this little thing over to shoot the cannons back at him. It's very odd. Oh, you gotta lead your shots quite a lot, or they'll whiff. Yeah, it's a very odd boss fight. You have to lead your shots a fuck ton. And every so often, you'll have to reload as well. It'll tell you right at the bottom, you have to reload. And the only way to do that is to go over to this, uh, this, like, floating triangle in the sky. You gotta jump through there, it refills the cannon. Yeah, the time crisis reload. And then you're back to this. I don't remember how many times you gotta hit him. I'm gonna kill you so bad! <laughs> Load again. It's a very odd boss fight. The question, I suppose, is how the hell is this the wishing engine? Floating eyeball. Does the floating eyeball grant wishes? We'll simply never know. It's unclear. Uh oh. Yeah, as long as you stay, like, on the platform, you're generally pretty safe. If you just crouch on the platform. You have to lead your shots so much. <laughs> you gotta see a speed run for this boss. I'm sure there's tech that I don't got. Or maybe you just need really, really good aim. It's yeah, it's secretly Noah. I agree, the Ultimo. Thank you for the 100 Noahs. Oh, that actually hit? I wasn't even aiming at him. What a shot! <laughs> yeah, no aim lab's gonna help. Why does he sound like uh, Jaleel White doing an Urkel voice? That's my question. Got him. Let's do it. Hey, we did it! Thank you, Gear Strike, for the 500 bits! Let's get our wish granted, shall we? Hello! Three wishes. Let me handle this! Wish for a million wishes! Wish for a million wishes! That never works! He wished for a chicken! Damn, he's good. Why'd you do that? I just wanted to see if it would work. Uh, okay, I I'll do it this time. I wish Yungo was sent back to his own yeah, dimension and our village was saved! Wish ground. Yeah, just throw up the entire town. We a team or what? Yeah, you rock. I think the village looks better at an angle. Hey, wait a minute. Oh Did the wishing engine promise us three wishes? What a ripoff. Well... Oh, no, Fargus, yeah, what did you wish for? I really wanted to share joy with the whole world. And? I wish that everyone back home could be just like me. Oh, no! Oh, boy. 
<laughs> Very good. I think we're gonna need another wish. Now we're gonna need another wish to fix this new problem. <laughs> Damn it. Too many Farguses around here. This is a disaster. Yeah, welcome to Clown Town. Also, you get to play the credits! Best game, you get to play the credits! Love when games let you play the credits. Yo, Space Hoppercopter, thank you for 100 bits. Yeah, the Fargus Cinematic Universe. Can you die in the credits? I don't think so. But I suppose I've also never tried. You can't tell if that ending is a sequel hook or not. Don't you worry. There is a sequel. And we'll play that today, too. We're not doing a pandemonium stream, just playing one pandemonium. There's two of them. Where am I going exactly? How am I lost in the credits? How is that possible? This way. All right, cool. <laughs> How am I lost? This this cannot be. Yeah, the last stage is very evil. Goaty is a hundred percent correct. Are we actually gonna see the Japanese version? We've already mentioned that I have no desire to play two versions of Pandemonium 1 today. While they graphically have differences, it is the same video game. So I don't particularly feel the need. Proops? Like, like from whose line? <laughs> like, like whose line is it anyway, Greg Proops? <laughs> what the fuck? I also learned something today. <laughs> You gotta have four writers for the story. All the lore in this game, which is a total of two cutscenes. missed all this game, don't you worry, there's another one. Yeah, the credits, any game that allows you to play the credit sequence, I'm always a big fan of. Because, you know, why not make your credits fun? Why not, you know? <laughs> and... The end. Very good. <laughs> Smash cut back to the title screen. You a little surprised at the game's length? Yeah, it's not that short, like, all things considered. It's like a two-hour game. Somewhere around two hours. It's not too bad. I would argue the next one is a bit longer, but we'll see how we do. Uh, we do have another game to play, don't we? We do have a second one to play. 
course we do. We also have to play Pandemonium 2, which came out a year later. This one is not a Toys for Bob joint. This one is a Crystal Dynamics joint. Uh, Crystal Dynamics published the first game, and then um, they ended up developing the sequel. I couldn't tell you how that works. Something must have been going on with Toys for Bob. Have I played Matilda Castile? No. Obviously, Nikki and Fargus look a little bit different here. They don't look quite the same. <laughs> Winners of the worst character redesigns of 1997. No, seriously, at least one outlet gave them that award. At least in Nikki's case, whose design screams oh, is this Lara Croft person big right now? We hadn't noticed. Yeah, I was going to cover that, actually, but I suppose you can do it for me. Thank you, Sly Dante, for the 100 bits. I do my homework, but I suppose it's fine. <laughs> anyway, let's play some Pandemonium 2. This is the one I more, uh... This is the one I remember playing more when I was younger. I definitely played this a lot. Chat room telling me facts that I already know and planned on telling the chat room. How dare you? That's okay, though. I forgive you. Yo, what's up, Gary? Who's that last? That's Nikki. Also published by, uh, by Midway for some reason. Oh, we gotta get that opening cutscene in. Let me turn my alerts off for this cutscene. Behold, children, the comet of infinite possibilities. Every 300 years, it passes over the land called Lear, dusting the land with magic. Encased within is the source of this magic condensed and unlimited. Listen as I, Sid the Magnificent, <laughs> Tell the tale of the race to stop the evil goon queen from her quest to plunder the magic of the comet and pervert its power to her twisted desires. My story begins on the dangerous road to Goon City with my <laughs> Goon City. Nikki, the Enchantress. Mm. Yeah, Nikki looks a little different. Death, fucks, full time dunce, and uh, my transportation. Look, Fargus. What are they saying? Dunno, Nikki. I'll send in my interpreter. <laughs> Yeet. I don't speak it. I don't speak it. I don't speak it. You moron. Very good. <laughs> There it is, the comet of infinite possibilities, where all our dreams come true. Gee, even the 90 ones? Bow down before Nikki, Sorcerer Supreme, Ultra Vixen Incarnate. <laughs> I got big plans. Let's see. Ooh, I know. I yank off his pointy head, slap it on a stick, and scrub the sewer with him. Must touch the deep fire. Must touch the fire. <laughs> now what, pudding lips? You boys up for a ride on a rocket? <laughs> Are there any questions? <laughs> so our plot is basically the same. There's a comet. There's a comet that grants wishes. The comet of infinite possibilities. It grants wishes. This game is essentially just a race to see who can get there first and have their wishes granted. That's all the game is. We're trying to get our wishes granted. Same as before. Why is Gex on the title screen? That's because there's a preview button. Do you want to watch a Gex trailer, chat room? 
Would you would you like to watch a Gex trailer? I got a Gex trailer for you right here on the title screen. No. The clock says party time. <laughs> the bouncer. E. Oh, it's always tail time, baby. Like candy. <laughs> Let's get it on. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, I don't like that crawl move. <laughs> that was a wide stance. It's tail time. That's a good question. It's tail time. Please bring back Gex. Gex is never coming back. Did I stream? I did stream Gex 1, yeah. I haven't streamed uh, 2 or 3, but I didn't play the first one. Gary, when's the Gex stream? Have you streamed Gex yet, Gary? Oh, you did? Oh, I missed it. Excellent. Let's watch the Gex trailer and then play Pandemonium 2 instead. What time is it? I don't know. It was kind of unclear what time it was based on that trailer. Could have been anything, really. We'll never know. Alright, so same same deal. We still have Nikki. We still got Nikki. We got Fargus. Choose who you want to take to each stage. We used... Let's go Fargus. We got to talk about the Fargus buffs. Fargus! Marry me with my money. I did it, Nikki. I am no longer the only clown. <laughs> I am but one of many, and our numbers shall grow. Until the whole world is the entire circus. See this ledge grab? There's a ledge grab in this game, first of all. They added a ledge grab. We have a new role. I am wanted in 100 countries for the most unforgivable of war crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fargus. So we have a new move. Not only do we have the new... The, the roll is better. Now when you roll through people, you actually retain your momentum instead of bouncing off of them. But you can also throw Sid. You're like stick. You're like talking puppet stick. You can just throw him. So Fargus has a ranged attack that he can steer wherever the fuck he wants. You're given a little tutorial to practice throwing him. A little tutorial area. Practice your aim. So even though he still only has one jump, he's significantly better at fighting. Because he has a fucking ranged attack now. He can throw it wherever he wants. And the new ledge grab is nice, too. I do not mind the ledge grab. You also start the game with four health. You see the little, uh, the top left, like, ring split into four chunks? You get significantly more HP to start with. You get twice as much. Yeah, we're picking up OBS logos. I think they increased the amount that you need to get an extra life. In the first game, you need 300, but I think in this one, you need 500. Fargus is pretty good in this game, though, generally. Fargus definitely got buffed. He feels much better. Yeah, I think it's 500. Whenever an enemy rolls up, you can just... <laughs> just roll straight through him. You don't even have to care. collect all the coins. Yeah, he's very yellow in this game. He ditched his, like, he ditched his traditional, like, colorful purple jester outfit for, like, a bright yellow one. You never seen 2.5D this powerful before? Yeah, this is a side-scrolling platformer, just with full 3D environments. It's very... I think it's a good look, actually. 
but it does make uh, figuring out where you're standing a little bit of a problem. You get a climb move. This climb move is new as well. Where are you at? There we go. You just... Just snag a bunch of these. <laughs> the closest game I can see to this is possibly Tomba. Yeah, Tomba 2 especially is a lot like this in how it is constructed. Fargus does not feel like a hindrance anymore. He actually feels like a functional character. You love to see Fargus buffs. Yeah, Wild 9 as well, that's true. What was that on that flag? That's a... That appears to be a woman. That appears to be woman. Uh, you got me. You got me fair and square. Yeah, the goon queen, perhaps. 65% of the treasure, what a rip. That's okay. Switch to Nikki. Gotta go to the ice prison! Somehow we've gone from goon city to the ice prison. It's a very jarring transition. It's alright. <laughs> yeah, already the ice stage. That didn't take long. Nikki still has two jumps. I like the uh, caution, you can fall and die sign here. <laughs> I gotta be real. The sound it makes when you collect a coin, very satisfying. Very satisfying coin get sound. Simon and Garnet. <laughs> Thank you for the for the 100 Simon and Garnet's Ridge. Yeah, no, I got it under control. The last stage, I have a I have a general grasp on what is being asked. That's what I'm saying, Gary. You got to have a good item get sound or what's the point? Oh, I fucked that up. I was supposed to bounce on the dude. I was supposed to bounce on the guy. I blew it. That's okay. We missed some coins. Missed some precious coinage. Yeah, Nikki gets a few new power-ups in this one. She gets a new ice move. She gets a new thunder move as long as you collect the right items to do so. Same deal, though. If you get hit, you lose them. Weren't your pants brown in the cutscene? I don't think so. Might have just been the lighting. The whole scene was at sunset, so they might have appeared darker than they do here. She shit herself in that cutscene. That's probably what it is, yeah. That's, pro that's probably it. This game, comparatively, is very kind to you with extra lives. There's no shortage of extra lives in this game. And sometimes when you kill enemies, they drop hearts. Do you see how when we kill these guys, little hearts come out of them? You actually get health back for that. This is definitely the easier game of the two. Is absolutely the easier game of the two. With the exception of one stage at the very end that's fucked up. Other than that, definitely the easier game. Yes, it is Colonel Sandwich. Miracle Jumpers, I believe, was the Japanese name of this one. Yeah, when you jump off of the rope, you absolutely <laughs> you go full speed. Yeah, the hit detection in the first game is very precise. 
It's really easy to feel like you're about to jump on top of an enemy and then somehow you miss by a tiny bit and then you take damage. This game does seem a little bit nicer to you in that sense. Like, usually when you land on top of something, they will give you the hit, whereas the first game you gotta be way more precise. <laughs> Yeah, the camera angles in this game. Oh, hidden hearts. I suppose I should be thankful that didn't knock me off the entire uh, thing I'm hanging from, me getting hit by that. Coins for extra lives, I believe it's 500 for an extra life in this one, yeah. Used to be 300. They raised it to 500, but then again, you're also given a lot of like raw one-ups in this game. Like like that smiley face, for example. That's a one-up. Oh, how am I gonna get this though? How am I gonna who how am I gonna make this happen? I already jumped on the guy. I can make this work. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finesse this shit. I didn't finesse that shit. We absolutely just fell to our doom. That's alright. Yeah, prices went up on one-ups. It's alright. By the end of this game, we'll have quite a lot of them. Not sweating it too much. Just mash on my lightning. Unsettling smile face. Yeah, that's your number of lives, the smiley. I don't know why they're depicted that way, but... Oh, I missed it again. That's fine. We'll concede at that time. We'll concede that one. It's a very dangerous one. Sad to have missed Metal Max streams. Don't worry, there'll be more. There'll be more Metal Max in our future. There's a whole series of them, after all. Oh, the fireball! Yes! Alright, you got me fair and square. Lost our fireball. We don't get to show our cool fireball today. It's all right. I do want these coins down here. Hold that thought. Hey. Are we lost our fireball again? <laughs> See what we got this away. It's worth it for the coinage. I don't think Fargus can reach that rope. I don't think he can jump high enough to reach that one. There we go. Here's our fireball. Yes! You can also aim it. You can aim your fireball. You can curve that shit upwards or downwards. You can slow it down or speed it up. <laughs> you can make it come to a dead stop, even. You've got a decent amount of control over it. Yeah, basically a full control fireball. It's not quite to the level of control that Ryu has over his Street Fighter the movie. Fireball. Can you enjoy this game or story if you haven't played the first game? Yeah, there's zero continuity between the two. These are is it it is a pair of platformers where you play as the same people, but absolutely there's no plot there's no plot relation at all. There's still an emphasis on having our wishes granted. 
But that's about it. One thing I do like about this stage is if you happen to jump on top of these, it sends you to the fucking moon. Hold on. Hold on, we gotta- we gotta jump directly on top of it to send you to the moon every time. I don't know why they programmed it to send you that high, but... Anytime you hop on top of one of these, it sends you to the moon. Oh, we're about to get a one-up, yes. What do we got this way? Secrets, perchance. Alright, I missed. It's alright, we can still just bounce off that shit. We can just bounce off this bad boy. Not a problem. Actually, I wonder if it lets you land on the enemies when you do this. Because these things act funny, I'm not sure if they... I'm not sure if these bats still count as, like, real obstacles or not. Oh, cool, we can just skip the whole thing. That works for me. One-up, get. Delicious one-ups. More coins, yes! That's probably intended, yeah. Probably. But probably not, but probably. I desire every coin. Satisfying coinage. This game is pretty good for that. This game gives you big, huge coins. I missed one. Keep it. Keep that coin. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Let's go back to Fargus, Zorsha's lab. None of these stages have anything to do with each other. How did we go from Goon City to an ice prison to a weird science lab? These feel like they belong in wildly different parts of the game. Nice. One-up get. The game is pretty generous about just giving you raw-ass one-ups. Not all of your one-ups have to be on score in this game. They'll give you plenty. See you later. It's a dangerous place to be. Everything here once is dead. I like that those fish enemies try to jump over you when you do the, um... If you throw... if you throw the stick at them... <laughs> they actually, like, input read and try to jump over it. Look at this shit. Look at that input read. Yeah, Vargas got a projectile. He can throw. He can throw Sid his like walk his talking puppet stick thing. <gasps> There's a what up? You, come here. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Sid can get that one up. Oh, I can't go any farther. Key. Cool. 
Vandela, thank you for the 59 whole years. Ranged combat, yes. The Fargus buffs are super real in this game. Fargus feels good, he feels fun to play. What did the fireball power-up even change? I have no idea, I'll be honest with you. With Fargus, I have zero clue. The fire power-up does something for Fargus. I couldn't tell you what this one does. Yeah, the problematic one-up, like in the previous stage, Fargus could have made that easy to grab as well. You can just throw, just throw Sid at it. It's one of the things that Nikki does not have is, like, an easy way to collect things. Whereas with Fargus, it's real simple to collect anything. Just throw your stick at it. Eh. Some level of pr uh, precision is required, though. <laughs> Thank you, ledge grab. I owe you my life. That was not a very conveniently timed cycle there. What an anti-air! Another two more one-ups! See what I mean? This game is incredibly kind to you, comparatively speaking. This game is really, really nice to the player! <laughs> Using a gesture in a platformer looks odd. I can't disagree. There aren't that many playable gestures just in general, let alone as playable characters and platformers. That was an ambitious jump, I admit. I probably shouldn't have done that. You get a lot of mileage out of your new climb move as well, a lot of climbing. Lots of swinging on monkey bars and such. Cool. Easy stage. How'd we do? 78%. I think we almost got the bonus stage. Pretty sure you still need 80. HOT PANTS! Take Nikki to the hot pants stage. Pretty sure this is a boss. Pretty sure there's a boss fight. Yeah, cold shorts, hot pants. If that ain't the most PS1 dragon I've ever seen. Anyway, you gotta catapult these fireballs at him. <laughs> Just catapult the damn thing. Come here. There you go. Pretty simple plan. Gotta get in the hole. Yeah, it's an incredibly easy boss fight. Yeah, the safety hole. Not a complex boss, but it is the first one, so fair enough. Oh, I can't believe that worked! <laughs> I, like, accidentally shot that one and it still hit him. He's dead. Well, that wasn't too bad. You see this item? That is a permanent health increase. So now we have eight health instead of four. 
We already have eight health. I would like to reiterate that in the entirety of the first game, your maximum is seven. We've already exceeded that. And it still goes higher. You can have up to 16, I believe. These fat beats are wicked. Yeah, this game's soundtrack is great. Boss defeated. Nikki jump scare <laughs> just runs directly at the camera. Ah, oh, this map screen is so good. Just the way you get from place to place. Stands the man. Let's take Fargus. Gonna be a lot of Fargus activity on this one. We have crashed our spaceship. Do we have anything back here? No, it's the entrance. Down. What do we got down? What have you put down here? Crystal dynamics. We're out here slipping and sliding. Okay. The art style for this game is crazy. Yeah, the art direction in this game gets very psychedelic, for lack of a better term. You'll see what I mean the farther in we get. It just gets more and more nutty, the, st the way the stages look in this game. Yeah, it's crazy, but not off-putting. No! My coinage! My beloved coins! Oh yeah, now the vine scrolls automatically, so you gotta dodge the... ...random electricity beams. We've got that gimmick. They find ways to get, like, good variety out of the game's limited actions as well. Go. Jukin'. I'm jukin'. I'm flipping and dipping. I did not quite get the forward momentum I thought I'd get off of that. Let's try that again. Not quite multimodal, but it feels so, yeah. It's not a bad way to put it. Okay, we gotta wait on this jump. There we go, that's what we want. Platforming with Fargus is still a dangerous prospect. <laughs> when you're doing jumps with Fargus, you still feel like you can die at any moment with your lack of a second safety jump. Oh no! We should have retained our forward momentum. That's where we veered. It's alright. It's alright. Lesson learned. Yeah, that was the biggest nerf that Fargus got when they got rid of his chucks. I did not jump in time. Generally, I think Fargus looks better. But the lack of the chucks, I agree, that's a big hit. Is this game rare? I... probably not. I don't think it would be. Then again, I don't keep up with the old game market. <laughs> Frankly, the last thing I want to think about is old game prices. Ooh, 
That time the vine left me for dead entirely. We're left for dead. It's alright. Learning the patterns when and when not to release the vine. Yeah, this game is this game is the opposite situation of Pandemonium One. In Pandemonium One, you're more likely to die to like enemies because you only get so much health. In this game, you're given a fuck ton of health, but there's a lot more death pits. So if you're gonna die, that's probably what it'll be. It's interesting how the dynamic changes. <laughs> then again, you're also given so many lives that it doesn't usually matter. What we got this way? There are jellyfish. Every which way. Wait. Wait. Huh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Satisfying coinage. Yeah, it's generally not hard to get your lives back either in the event that you die a lot because there's so many coins around. There's our boy Stan. Stan is going to die in one hit. We're going to... We're going to collect this fire upgrade. And then we're just going to burn him to death. All right, Stan is dead. <laughs> We've killed Stan. Stan was not alive for very long. When Fargus picks up a firepower, he starts running automatically, and he just burns everything that he touches to death. The problem is that can get you killed, because he starts running on his own. But generally, it's like, inv it's invincibility, essentially. Oyster di oyster disoyster Those are words. Those are certainly words. Oyster disoyster. One of those is a word. <laughs> we got a uh, eh we gotta whoop. We gotta use our second jump. Oh, Nikki can make this work. Nikki can make this jump. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is an oyster? We just don't know. I guess we should go for the vine instead. It's probably the easier thing. Cool bonus stage. This is an unmatic pointed disoyster. <laughs> Thank you, Calder Gaming. Alright, we got most of those. Got another one up out of it. Just from the huge coinage. Thank you for the 100 disoysters. It's telling me to go down that way. Must I, though? Must I? Do I really want to, though? Trying to sneakily... Trying to sneakily collect coins. Can I jump up here? I don't think that's a place we can jump to. Oh, there's a key down there. I see, I see, I see. What? Okay. Bubble almost got me killed. 
Not a problem. <laughs> Bubble almost got me That's killed. Good question. Yeah! Floating coins! They just have the coins do whatever the fuck. They just move the coins in whatever which way. Constant moving coins. I guess it's if you pick Fargus, it's to make it fun to, like, throw Sid at them. To try and collect them. But for Nikki, it turns it into a little bit more of a chore. Ah, yes. The floating upwards gimmick. This game does... Oh, wow. Look at that. A huge clump of coins! Yes! <laughs> oh, it feels good! Enormous clump! Yes! The clumpage. Mmm, delicious. Love to see coin go up. What do we got over here? Got another one of these. Try not to get hit in the meantime. Yeah, the clumpage. Oh, it just... I think the ride just stops there, from the looks of it. Understood. Understood. Didn't realize the ride stopped so soon. Oh, that's a one-up! Yes! Feels good. I'll take that trade. One damage for ten coins? Another one-up! You're too kind today, video game. We've been playing like shit and you're still giving me coins for free? What did I do to deserve such generosity? So there is a lot of lava, yeah. Okay, I don't slide here. <laughs> Just making sure I'm not gonna slip and slide to my doom. Gotta touch this button. What do the coins do again? They just give you an extra life when you get, like, 500 of them. I can't believe we made it through that door in time. Ooh, another one up. Thank you. Absolutely gonna die trying to get back to safety. Okay, we made it. Satisfying bouncing on enemies. The ones that are more tanky, the like sturdier enemies, the ones that take multiple hits, a lot of them give you health back when you kill them as well. 79%! We just barely missed that bonus stage. I actually think this game has the exact same bonus stage. I think it still has some variation of speed, greed, puzzle, wood, Fargus. Puzzle? I cannot be bothered to turn my brain on. I'm platforming. Imagine. <laughs> now give me this fire, yes! He's a man on fire. I don't know why this light elevates you. <laughs> Very mysterious. Oh, is that why it's called Puzzle Wood? There's just floating puzzle pieces. 
I understand. Fair enough. Multiple one-ups. We got we got like a two stack of one-ups there. You trying? I remember trying. Didn't they make like three of those? Uh oh. We got pushed off that thing in such a such a bad way there. <laughs> we got pushed off that vine. We just kind of slipped and died. It's all right. We had actually just gotten an extra life with our coin count. So I cannot be too upset. We're still where we were. There we go. That's how that's supposed to be. I think the latest shrine was not well received. I don't think I've ever played any of them. I'm almost positive I've seen them. But then again, I couldn't tell you what any of them look like, so maybe I haven't. That is not a good spot to land, Fargus. There we go. The difference in visual style in this game is immense. It feels like we're playing... If it weren't still 2.5D, I would have assumed this is like a completely different game. Because there was some amount of like... There's some amount of theming going on. Ooh, ooh there's three one-ups there? Hold on. Can I just Fargus this shit? Eh. I can make this work. Fargus can make this work! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Lord Fargus, the one-up king. Yeah, the, the, the Fargus buffs are huge. They're absolutely, they're tremendous. Uh. We're on fire, so we cannot float still at the moment. We have to constantly be moving. There we go. Fargus's V skill. But they do add a lot more death pits in this game, so it's easy to die. Hello, miss. I'm going to throw my stick at you. I'm just gonna throw... I'm just gonna throw my stick at you. Block this overhead. Alright, she's dead. <laughs> Yeah, this is a game for Fargus fans. If you're a Nikki fan, Pandemonium 1 is the one you want, where Nikki is like clearly the best character. Fargus fans, this is the this is the one for you. Fargus is very good in this game. He can collect all kinds of shit that Nikki cannot, which is interesting because he's only got one jump to do so. Doesn't really matter though, does it? Okay. Thankfully we landed on something. Getting off of vines is really dangerous in this game, though, because it sends you <laughs> it sends you quite a ways forward. You have some crazy momentum when you dismount from vines in this game. <laughs> Crystal Dynamics caving, yeah. They heard all the complaints after Pandemonium 1. They were like, bro, we know you're making Pandemonium 2, but we need some Fargus buffs. This character is unplayable right now. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going, Fargus? Yeah, dismounting from vines is a dangerous prospect in this game. 
it's incredibly easy to be sent too far forward when you're trying to land on a platform. Was it worth that one coin? Probably not. Oh no. Oh, look at the puzzle wood in the background. It's alive! <laughs> what word would you even use to describe these visuals? I'm sure there's a word for this kind of a style, but what the fuck would that be? It's very odd. <laughs> The first game, first game had some kind of, like, a consistent Celtic, that might not be the right word, more of like a renaissance kind of a theme, that sort of a deal. Whereas this game is all over the place, every stage feels like it belongs in a different game. But I like it. I do like it. Now we're in space, I guess! There's the Earth! Sure, why not? Good old space temple. <laughs> Pandemonium punk. <laughs> Eldritch? That might be. That might be the right word. It is it's all over the place is what it is. But I don't think I don't think it's like a bad thing. The game is called Pandemonium after all. It should get a little nutty. Oh no, they deal quite a lot of damage. I love this jam. It's probably my favorite track in the game. <laughs> Even the vibes of the music are, like, way different. This game adds a lot of, like, techno-y beats. <laughs> that is not where I'm supposed to push the turtle. There we go. Ooh. Do it better. No, do it better, though. Eh. Ooh. Okay. Hopping on bats. Extra life. Two more extra lives! Number go up. Do they not let you become a turtle anymore? Yeah, this game does not use the, like, transformation gimmick. But it's okay. They did add some new things. They added more, um... They added more gameplay variety. There will be times in this game that we do things that are not running and jumping. Coinage. The absolute catharsis of finding an entire stack of coins to collect. I missed that gong. I'm pretty sure we need to hit that. Project Paradise for MS-DOS. That one I've not heard of. I... When it comes to, like, video game knowledge, DOS is a huge blank spot for me, because I just... By the time I had a computer of my own, DOS... We were well past the DOS age. So it's only, uh... It's only in more recent years that I've become... more familiar with DOS games. It's generally a huge blank space in my, in my video game knowledge bank. Ooh. 
gotta ring, gotta, gotta gong the mystic gong. Yes! It's a surprise tool that'll help us later. It's very decentralized compared to consoles. That's true. There's a lot of the documentation for like uh, it's it's hard to find like a database type deal for like every DOS game. It's pretty easy to find that sort of thing for other platforms. Hell, even Amiga has like Hall of Light. It's like an Amiga database. But for DOS, I haven't really found anything for that. It's just there there's just so many game Race me! We gotta get to the top of this bad boy. There is Exodos, that's true. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready! Above up, thank you for the follow. We gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta race them to the top. If we get there first, we get a permanent health increase. Nice. Oh no, they didn't give me shit. I guess they beat us there. We still got two one-ups out of it though, that's not too bad. I think we can go back to that stage. We can go back to this stage and try again if we really want to, but we also have a lot of health already. We're not frequently going to be in a situation where we need more than eight. This is already more than we had in the in the entire last game. Still. Still, we might go back. We might go back for it. Key there. Need this key. Yeah, number permanently go up would feel pretty good. Was that Amiga database? It's Hall of Light. Uh, here, let me just link you. I just link you. It's this right here. Well, I don't know much about Pandemonium the game, but if it got a sequel, that means it must be automatically at least as good as Pandemonium the album by the time you know the one with the song about the skillet and the pepper <laughs> and the salt and the uh, newly purchased stove. Okay, I shut up now. You're absolutely right, Das Yachty. Thank you. Whoops, that's a fire. Thank you, Das Yachty, for the 100 bits. Yeah, Hall of Light is a pretty, pretty useful Amiga resource. It knows more about Amiga than I do. Not that that's saying a whole lot. Because <laughs> I don't know shit. You. Yeah, you get two health back when you kill the praying mantis. Gotta duck under these. <laughs> Up to 21 lives. We're doing quite well for ourselves. What is this obstacle course? All right. Not too bad. Sixty-seven percent. Egg! Egg! Let's take Fargus. Actually, it doesn't matter who we take through this one. Gotta go to the egg boss. Oh, my gosh. oh no, it emerges. The Egg Lord. The Egg Lord from the Egg. He's got a crown. <laughs> I 
What's the plot here? The plot in this game is actually even simpler. There's a comet called the Comet of Infinite Possibilities. And it can grant a wish to whoever gets to it. So basically, it's just a race to see who gets there first. Fargus and Nikki are trying to have their wishes granted. And by the way, there are two endings depending on who you beat the game with. So we'll do it both times. And everyone else is basically just trying to stop us because they want their wish granted, I guess. We're kind of stuck in this tube. You can't really move that much. This is how much movement you get. So it's mostly just a matter of memorizing his moves and how to dodge them. Yeah, we're in the egg tube. Generally, you can dodge most of his moves by crouching, except for this little side swipe. <laughs> I'm glad... I, you know what, Ho? No, I'm glad you think so, because that's exactly the vibe we're trying to capture. <laughs> A good wish or an awful corrupted gotcha wish? Well, it depends on who gets it, I suppose. Nikki seemed to have... Nikki seemed to have her own ideas of becoming some kind of all-powerful sorcerer. Fargus, on the other hand, is crazy and just said the word fire a lot. <laughs> Farima, thank you for the seven whole years. So we don't really know. What we can do is we can beat the game twice, once with each character, so we can see both endings. That's what we can do. Yeah, Fargus definitely got a little crazier in between games. This boss fight is incredibly easy. I don't know if you've noticed. It requires us to do almost nothing. Why doesn't Sid get a wish? Sid's an intern. Is he dead yet? No. This one takes a while. This one takes a while, and it's not that challenging either. This one just kind of takes time. <laughs> not an incredibly... I mean, it looks cool visually. But in practice, not the most... Not the most engaging boss fight. That's okay, though. Yeah, I don't know if there's a quick kill. There might be. I'm not a, I'm not an expert. All of his attacks except one can be crouched as well, which makes it kind of even easier. Because all you have to do is crouch everything except the one attack that cannot be crouched. He's dead. I think he's dead. All right, he's dead. Now he's very definitely dead. Yes, the crown! <laughs> Good. Fuck, Bofik! Well done, Turner. Good password. Where are we now? Huevos Libertad! I don't speak Spanish. Somebody help. Was, was Huevos egg? Was, was, was... Wavo is egg, right? Oh no. Okay, it is eggs. Thank you. Thank you, chat room. We gotta free the eggs. I can do that. Here are the eggs. They don't really look like eggs, but we're gonna free them anyway. Be free, child. I did it. Oh no, the dog is awake. Dog is very upset. 
I'm out of here. See you later. Uh, why do you have a pickaxe? <laughs> they are kind of cute, I won't lie. <laughs> Mischievous little creatures. They're like little PS1 Kirbys. <laughs> yeah, I know, Pete. We missed every single coin. I didn't want to mention it. I was just going to no-sell it. Like, I didn't completely fail to collect those coins, but you are correct. I missed every single one on the way down. I was going to hide my shame and just not bring it up. <laughs> coins! Yes! Yes! Incredibly satisfying coinage. What is happening? Help. We gotta get up there. We gotta, we gotta get up, we gotta get up there. It's the only way. Eh. 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 There we go. <laughs> this is a very chaotic game. No, I don't, I don't care about the monetary value of the coins. I'll be honest with you, I just like the sound it makes. Like, that's a good sound. That's a good coin get sound. Very satisfying. Climbing on jellyfish, as one does. Free the egg. Where did they go? Where did they go exactly? I assume they'll help us later. Oh no, I couldn't jump on him. They may be immune to jumping on. There's copious amounts of snoring in my ear right now. What? Oh, you can jump on him. That means we just missed. Just missed entirely. That's okay. He drops three hearts when you kill him. That's pretty good. There's some satisfying, like, verticality to the stages in this one as well. Never saw gameplay of this, uh, gameplay of this series. They're pretty fun games. If you're if you're hankering for like a like a 2.5D platformer or just like a PS1 platformer in general, it's easy to recommend either Pandemonium game. The second one, hey, there's a one up up there. I didn't even know. There's definitely a change in difficulty between the two. This one is without question easier than the first one. Nice ledge grab. The seam in the sky? Don't look at it. Don't look at the sky seam. <laughs> Listen, video games are hard to make. Don't look at it. <laughs> what is happening? Somebody help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, this game is definitely, this game is definitely more insane. Like this backdrop, for example, what kind of melting, <laughs> what kind of melting hellscape are we even in? Where would this be, would you say? And that's the stage design for like the whole game. Every stage just gets more and more nutty in the way it looks. Yeah, we're inside of a lava lamp. Something like that.
68. You absolutely hate to see it. 68%? We could have collected another coin or two. Pipe house! <laughs> That's like German. That's like the German way to spell it, right? Pipe house? All right, to the pipe house we go. I think there's a permanent health upgrade on this stage. Let's try not to miss it like we missed the other one. We can bring our maximum HP up to 12, which would be very nice. Will this game be considered short? This is probably... I would say it's maybe a little longer than the first one. Um, depending on how much you're trying to collect, I guess. I would say that they're both reasonably in the two-hour range. Two to three hours, I would say both of them are. Yo, what's up, Akuma? Hope streams have been well today. I have been big chillin'. Having a comfy platformer time. I haven't really played a platformer in a bit, anyway. Usually when I play things with platforming, they're like running guns or something like that. I cannot hit this without a fireball. Ah, there's the fireball. They carried this over from the previous game. This exact... This exact room. When it's tank game too, we'll get to it. Unless we want to play some non-Metal Max, just tangentially related tank game. We still haven't played Super Battle Tank, which is what all those backgrounds were from. We could play Poppin' Tanks again, the Japanese... The Japan-exclusive, like, PS1 tank game that's really cool. It's a charming game. Tiny tank, yeah, that's true as well. That's also on PS1. Or we just do none of those and play like Sarge's Heroes or something. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. I do kind of want to play Sarge's Heroes, actually. I haven't played Sarge's Heroes in a very long time. Where are we going, exactly? Where am I headed right now? Ah, I see. You fucking looped idiot. You love the army men games? I'm not entirely familiar with any of them beyond... Sarge is heroes, but it is to my understanding that there are a lot of them. Don't play Green Rogue, it controls funky. You have to understand, I am... 100% down to play a game that controls Funky. Funky controls have never stopped me. Like a good half of the games we stream, I would describe as having Funky controls. Like at minimum 50% of them. Not so much this one though. This one is this one. The Pandemonium series plays refreshingly well actually. Twenty-five lives, yes! There should be some more eggs we have to free. I think there's three groups of eggs we have to save on this stage. 
to gain access to the health increase at the end of it. I'm gonna find the rest of the eggs to save. Oh my god, yes! Mmm! The pure satisfaction. Ooh. Ledge grab. My ledge grab. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes the ledge grab just don't. Sometimes it don't. That's okay. What do we got over here? I don't think... Let's see. There's gotta be another path around this way somewhere. Ah, there was another path, yeah. It's hard to, like, figure out how these towers are connected. Because even though they're constructed in a 3D space, you still have to platform along them 2D. So you have to find the, like, side-scrolling path that allows you to go from one tower to another. It's very odd. Yeah, very Prince of Persia. That's okay. Another... Get back here! Get back here, coward! I don't think Nikki can get this one. I don't think I don't think Nikki can get. Get back here. I don't think Nikki can get this one. <laughs> I think this is Fargus exclusive content right here. I can't believe this. Keep it. Keep your secrets, friend. <laughs> We've rescued the eggs! Can we fall onto it? We might have been able to fall onto it, that's true. I hadn't considered that. Then again, we have 25 lives. I think we're doing okay. I don't think we're in any immediate shortage of lives. He's got a lightsaber! Is that just Darth Vader? I just noticed. Is it just... Is it just Darth Vader? Oh, thank you, Goaty. I agree. It's the greatest game ever made. <laughs> Can you get refunded during the last stage? What do you mean? Are you saying your opinion's gonna change at the end? What are you trying to- are you saying that the last stage is an ultimate? Why, you don't like spending like an hour on the final stage? The last stage is incredibly long. Goody is correct. The last stage is, uh... The last stage is longer than... Like, the length of the five stages preceding it combined. It's pretty absurd. Hold on a second. Did I miss any egg? Did I miss any eggs this way? Gotta make sure. Gotta make sure I don't miss any eggs. We have to save all the eggs. What do we got this way? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, we've been over there. Yeah, longer than the whole game. The final stage in this game is very long. It is... It's, it's got, like, a Metal Slug Syndrome kind of a deal, where the final stage in a Metal Slug game is... <laughs> longer than everything else that led up to it. Metal Slug 3, especially, does that shit. I can't believe we didn't get hit there. Aha! There you are! We've rescued all the eggs! I 
dog was very upset with me. A very angry dog. You got me. You got me fair and square. Yeah, Japanese version of this game is, uh... Not as different as the Japanese version of the first game, actually. Whereas the first game got a complete, like, graphics overhaul to be more anime. And, like, different cutscenes, a different ending, all that shit. This game is pretty much the same, the Japanese version of it. I don't know why they committed to changing one so heavily and then not the other one. Not really any of my business, I suppose. <laughs> Not as much budget for the second localization. That could be. Because this the Japanese version of this game is basically exactly what we're looking at. There we go. Yellow health. We have 12 health now. 12 hit points. The first game's called Magical Hoppers, yeah. The one we're playing right now, the Japanese version, is Magical Jumpers. You thought there wouldn't be any tanks in this game. You thought we weren't playing a tank game. Welcome to the hate tank! <laughs> Look at the size of this robot! You are being chased. Looks like something that would topple over by itself. It kind of reminds me of the Air Buster. Like, the shape that it is. It's kind of Air Buster shaped. There we go. We gotta get inside our hate tank. Yes! <laughs> We get our own tank. So this is the this is the gimmick of this stage. This entire stage is a tank level. We actually have full 3D. We have full three-dimensional aiming with our gun, which is mysterious, but they do make you do it. Try and snipe everything as it appears. Yeah, some things you have to aim it into the background, like this. Sometimes you have to aim into the foreground to hit other things. We're just gonna be methodical about it. Just gotta play those angles, gotta have the better angles. All right. It can be hard to tell where your gun is. That's the only that's the only gripe I have about this stage. Is it can be difficult to tell where exactly you're aiming. Cuz you don't know if you're a little bit off center. You don't know if you're aiming on uh, the correct 2D plane. You might be a little bit off center and you're aiming either slightly into the foreground or the background. Yeah, the tank has no health indicator either. So sometimes your tank just explodes because you got hit too many times, but you couldn't really tell, you know, that your tank was even in danger.
There we go. Let's lob it over. I cannot seem to hit this one. I definitely ran that over instead of shooting it. We definitely just took damage, I'm sure of it. That's okay. Oh, it's a basil. We're shooting, uh, we're shooting a tank at things right now. I can't seem to land shots. <laughs> Struggling mightily to land shots. We're never gonna be, we're never gonna be a tank expert at this point. That super battle tank playthrough, that's gonna be a disaster at this rate. There we go, that's the angle. It's just a game of angles, you gotta have the right one. Pandemonium 2 is definitely a fighting game, yeah. Cool. Don't remember how long this stage is. I think we're towards the end of it. It's a decent length. But not as long as a lot of the platforming sections. Try to hit that thing. There we go. I might have got hit by that fire. I have no, no idea. Sometimes your tank gets hit. There's not much feedback given. That's okay. <laughs> feedback is for cowards. That time the entire screen shook, so I know for sure we took a hit. Oh, something in the foreground, yes! <laughs> they took this gimmick as far as it would go. I applaud it. Thankfully, you can just hold the shoot button down. You don't gotta tap it. Although, if we could tap it to mash, or if we could mash it to shoot faster, I wouldn't mind. But this is about as fast as it goes. I'm out of here. See you later. We're definitely skipping things. This is a dangerous game we're playing. I think we got him. Yeah, the tank movement. We're trying. Oh no! <laughs> There's something in the background shooting at us too. There's <laughs> something in the kryptonite fog. We can't even see it. You, where are you, roughly? You're back here somewhere. I'll just trust that these are working. Are we... Am I hitting them? There's something back there. Okay, well, they seem to have stopped shooting at us. So I guess we take those. Yeah, the invisible snipers. They were just in the background, surely. I feel like this might be the end of the stage. There's quite a lot of defenses here. Somehow our tank is still in one piece. It's definitely on its last legs by now. Imagine no checkpoints. I think there is... I think they checkpoint you every so often. That'd be rough, though. <laughs> Stein!
Thank you for the host. Oh, there is still more. Yes. Look at the girth of this cannon. Can't believe it. We found a way to play another tank game, even during the pandemonium stream. Are we home free? I think we made it, boys. Yes! Treasure? There was treasure? Was there? It must have been during the opening chase sequence. <laughs> it must have been. Ah, oh, we're up to fan tabulous. Because there's fans, you see. Good. <laughs> Give me my one up. Thank you. We got almost every coin. I think we missed one there. Just gonna zap him until he dies. Yeah, this stage is very much just heavy machinery. Try not to get like buzz sawed or something. Lots of fans. Big fan of this level, somebody shoot that guy. Oh, thank you for the ledge grab. It's very kind of them. I feel like we're going in a circle. Ah, we gotta go this way. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, we've got these, like, red... We've got these red platforms that we're allowed to step on very briefly. But then there's an electric shock that you have to avoid. So here's the central gimmick of this stage. There's, like, a... <laughs> there's a platform that turns you <laughs> around. You gotta stand in the middle. Yeah, it changes your axis. Because it's just the only way to do that, you see. It's just the only way that people can do that, is you have to... You gotta stand inside something like that. It's the only way to walk in a different direction. Every house has one of those, I think. You gotta flip switches to open doors. Thank you for the extra life. We have so many extra lives right now, I don't know what to do with them all. There's actually another one down there. We don't even need it. Local streamer says, foreshadowing something very bad happening. <laughs> Do it better. Do it better, streamer. And we gotta, nope. We gotta flip that. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you prison 10. Oh, I thought that was bouncy for some reason. I don't know why I thought the red platform was bouncy. There we go. That's how that's done. Artisanal camera angles. It gets kind of... The only, like, thing to keep in mind about this stage is, like, you have to kind of know which way you haven't gone yet. And it becomes tricky to, like, remember... Like, what lever have I not flipped? There's a lever somewhere, and then you gotta check every axis again. SRK Killa, thank you for the 15 whole years. That's the only that's the only issue about this particular stage. It can be difficult to remember which like ways you've gone and which you haven't. But I suppose that's why the walls are numbered. So that's fair enough. 
Excuse me, Nikki. Excuse me. My ledge grab. Thank you. Nikki? Nikki doesn't want a ledge grab. She's having trouble. It's okay. She's practiced her whole life for this day. She can make it. Hold on. Uh -huh. There you go. I never doubted you. I had some doubts after you blew it the first couple times. <laughs> this feels right. Green button. Yeah, press button, and then you press the button, and it's just, DON'T PRESS THE BUTTON! YOU FOOL, YOU PRESSED THE BUTTON! WHAT HAVE YOU DONE?! We gotta go. I've died immediately. We've instantly died, is what we've done. Let's push that button again. We're gonna press the button that we were instructed not to press. You've fallen for one of the classic blunders. I don't know if it memorized, or I don't know if it kept track of which ones we've, like, flipped. I don't know if we have to do this whole sequence again, or I don't know if we just have to get to that button again. Okay, given that there's a key here, I assume we have to redo the whole section. Which isn't too bad, it's really, it's not that long. Yeah, we did not read the warning label. Do they respawn one-ups? I don't think they do, sadly. They were they were too smart. They were too big-brained to do that. It's alright, I think we're still comfortably on 1cc pace. Barring the world's greatest meltdown. Welcome to the Panity Dog. Get ready. Call the doctor, thank you for the follow. Yeah, there's no one-up up there this time. Their brains were simply too big. Don't think we go that way yet. I think we go this way first? Maybe not. Let's see. Ah, this way. There's the button we're not supposed to press. I love how shittily it's drawn on, too. <laughs> the way it just says, don't. <laughs> like, someone just spray-painted it. You fool! Whoop! I guess we're living. Nope, we're not living. I'm not sure what happened there. We just kind of ate shit and died. I don't think we were supposed to press that button either. I think you might be right. Need a replay on that one. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure what happened either. We were alive and then we weren't. That's as far as I got. Gotta memorize this route, though. Gotta optimize this route. The speed run of this game, I'm curious about the final level in particular when it comes to, like, speed running this game. Because if any stage in this game needs speed run strats, it's the last one. Just the girthiest, most needlessly long <laughs> level in game history. So I'm curious what speedrunners do on that stage. The thing about this part is I'm not entirely sure where we're even supposed to, like, go. Obviously we're supposed to get to this elevator to exit the stage. But I'm not entirely sure what the route we're meant to be taking is to get there, because I can't really tell what is a platform and what isn't. Oh yeah, that time I saw a platform. 
We saw it that time. That's progress. Record's one hour, 20 minutes. I wonder how much of it is spent on the final stage. I imagine a healthy chunk of it. Like a significant amount. Because there's quite a lot of backtracking, unless they found some kind of a wall skip to go through the wall. Nikki makes this a lot less of an issue. I imagine Fargus would have some... I imagine Fargus would have some platforming woes here. I got this route down, at least. That's something. Thank you for the clip, Fragmental Stew. Yeah, this is mostly just an exercise in finding what it is you're allowed to jump on here and what you're not allowed to jump on. Kind of difficult to see with all this bullshit going on in the room. You just have to find the platforms. Just gotta find them. There we go. Get to the other side. Yeah, there we go. And then we have to survive the ascent where we're being attacked by lightning as we go up. Try not to get zapped. <laughs> Even the elevator's not safe. Yeah, the camera doesn't help during that bit. Although I would still say overall the camera's way kinder to you in this game than the previous one. The camera definitely helps you, uh... more in this game. Mr. Schneobelin! What planet is that word from? Is that still German? It might be. I'm sure that means something in some language that I can't read. We'll take Fargus. Not that it really matters. How much do you know about Pong, chat room? The Bouncer. Welcome to the welcome to this stage's gimmick. Bouncing balls into the target. Now imagine what we just did but with a giant robot chasing us. I love this fight. I love this boss battle. <laughs> Basically, just don't let any of the balls by. He's gonna shoot balls, you just need to bounce them back at him. You can also aim them at explosives on the ceiling, explosives on the walls. As long as he as long as he gets hit, really, doesn't really matter. He's trying to hit him. Yeah, they'll put they'll put shit on the ceiling for you to hit, they'll put shit on the walls for you to hit, get a little bit of extra damage if you can. It's tricky to aim at them. Yeah, did we change game? <laughs> this is completely nonsensical. This looks like we're playing speedball, but like <laughs> like a weird speedball spin-off. <laughs> oh, he's starting to fire more. We pissed him off. He's going for melee attacks. <laughs> Yeah, there's no time limit for this one. Do you see all the, like, vertical uh, iron bars that are attached to the railing that were sliding along horizontally, though? Those are essentially your hit points. Every time a ball goes by, one of those, like, vertical struts will break, and if the whole thing breaks, you die. That's why it's imperative that you 
that you catch every ball. Even if you don't hit him, you still gotta catch him. You gotta kinda be predictive about where he's gonna go to. You can't shoot where he is, you gotta shoot where he's going. Oh no. Oh no, he's firing a lot faster! Okay. Okay, not a problem. What? I love this boss fight. This boss fight just comes out of absolutely nowhere. They just give you this entirely bizarre gimmick that you never see again. Oh my god, he's shooting so many! Ugh. Okay. Not a problem. Woo. Got him. Woo! Holy shit. Thank you. Nice no hit attempt. I think we might have. I think we took s well done, some of those balls. Might have got by just barely. We might have missed a few. It worked out. Kaleidoscope. Stick with Fargus for a little bit. We haven't gotten to use Fargus much in a while. Yes, another big robot. <laughs> another gimmick stage immediately. Yes. <laughs> Got the big boy. After that rocket. So now you get another mode of gameplay that wasn't in any other other uh, any of the other stages. <laughs> the game is still throwing new gimmicks at you, just whenever it wants. The variety of gameplay in this game, compared to the first, is jarring. They had a lot of cool gimmicks. And not really for any reason other than they felt like it. <laughs> they weren't content with just making a platformer. They wanted to try all kinds of shit, and they said, Why not? And they were right. Although I do wish my rate of fire was a little higher here. That's okay. Coinage. Yes! Yeah, if anything's the real threat, it's these guys that guard the, the tube every so often. It's hard to position yourself in such a way that you can dodge and land shots. You usually have to pick one or the other. Not insurmountable, though. Yeah, look at this camera shot. Yes! <laughs> it's your Lord of the Rings fucking Gandalf shot. Incredibly bulky robot platforming. <laughs> oh, that's right, you can put a shield up as well. Hello. I'm gonna bounce on his head. You looked away, yeah, we're playing a Gundam game now. We switched over to a uh, mobile suit Gundam Pandemonium. He wrote a thesis on the word cohesion, put this game in the footnotes. Would you say that this game has good or bad cohesion, Cody? And I have a feeling I know what your answer is. Uh, 
I'm out of here. See you later, dork. <laughs> that's about that's about what I expected. Yeah, I don't think a lack of cohesion is bad. I don't think there's anything wrong with the practice of throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks, as long as the end result is still a fun game, right? Oh, that's right, we gotta watch out for... for these now. I can't see shit, Captain. I'm in the Omega Boost tube. Yo, what's up, Simon? I miss Omega Boost. Omega Boost is too good. We, as a civilization, did not deserve Omega Boost. That's why we still don't have a second one. It was too good for us. The Omega Toost! You thought we were playing the original Pandemonium? That was the first thing we played. We're on the second one now. We're about four and a half hours into this stream. The stream will probably run a little bit over five if the last stage is uncooperative. I assume this will be a quite chunky stream, which is interesting, as it's only two, two platformers you wouldn't expect to take quite that long, but they're chunky. These are chunky games for the kind of games they are. I'm out of here. See you later. I have one health. That's no good. Can I have a crumb of HP, please? Just one crumb. That's all I ask of you. I have one singular hit point. Ah, shit. We stuck our toe in it. Stuck our toe in the lightning. <laughs> there we go. That's how you clear that. My shield! Oh my god, it's a mess! Nice. We got a significant portion of our health back when we did that. Why are we mecha now? It's just, uh, it's just how this stage is. They decided let's do a mecha stage. <laughs> have I seen Frog Gun? I have! Um, who did I see? I saw somebody stream that recently. Who the fuck was that? Yeah, no, it looked cool. Frog gun looked cool. Yeah, this game definitely had some ambition. I think that's fair to say. Into the weird psychedelic dimension. This is where the rest of the game is going to take place, this weird uh, dimension we're falling into. So prepare for weird visuals. This game's going to get odd. Ah, yes. Into the mouth of the beast. <laughs> the Zoal Train! Yeah, it's only just now about to get odd. Oh, you think everything up to this point was odd? You ain't seen nothing yet. We're in the- we're in the grape zone. We're in the grape juice zone. We have Sid. There's a giant Sid in the background. You know, why not? We got floating faces. We got faces that are being shot out.
Yeah, no, I wasn't kidding. It's only now getting on. This is where this is where the game gets weird. <laughs> Oh, 500 on the dot. It feels good. Nice. Nice. Ah, yes. The clown dimension. Is this where we've ended up? Even the platform, even the railing has an eyeball. Uh, you got me. You will be judged by the Council of Galactic Farguses. Ah, yes, into the mouth, of course! Why not? <laughs> and then we... then we latch on to the two hands that are clasped together, holding legs. And then the legs walk, and we hold on to those. The game gets a little weird. It do, the game gets a little strange from this point. Oh, what a combo! Fucking <laughs> bone shaking sound. Oh, that's a hit confirmed. That's a hit confirmed. We can get two hits at a time. <laughs> You're going decaf now. I don't think decaf's gonna help. Yeah. Uh huh. Skeleton. Yeah. Ah, uh, you got me. Yeah, it's a good strut. It is a mighty strut. Look at him go. Amazing. You don't want to go to Clown Town? We're already there. It's too late. We're in the fucking Fargus dimension right now. Chat, are we high? Maybe. It's unclear. That's a good like fart sound we just heard. <laughs> It's like a weird static ripping noise. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Yeah, you know, weird electric farts into another jester's mouth. Hello, miss. Ooh no, do it better. Where have you gone? You! Ooh ah, you gotta be tricky. You gotta be, you gotta be, uh, pretty precise with these. You gotta just fall on top of her. Eh? Trying to over... Trying to over, uh, trying to oversteer. It's not working. What game is this? Ooh. It sure seems like a ton of pandemonium. Yeah, it's absolute. It's absolute madness. Let's try that again. You. Yeah, we got cooked. We definitely fell somewhere we shouldn't have. There we go. That's how that's supposed to go. Yeah, we got two pandemoniums. Sadly, there's only two. They never made a pandemonium three. I wouldn't mind this kind of goofy shit coming back. 
There have been a lot of platformers that have been revived in some fashion. I wouldn't mind Pandemonium coming back. It's definitely unique enough, <laughs> I would say, to warrant it. Sid! This game has too much pandemonium, trademarked. <laughs> I think it's got just the right amount of pandemonium. It's got a healthy amount. Where to next? The Zoal Train! Let's take a ride. We gotta protect those eggs in the back. <laughs> now we have this gimmick. We got this gimmick where, we're, where we can't crash into shit. There we go. Look at these jukes. I think you're only allowed to get hit three times here. Uh-oh. Woo! That was close! Shit! Ah, oh, precision. And I think that's it. I think that's the end of the stage. Almost nice. 68%. Ah, yes, the melting clock. I think we want to go back to Nikki. Lick the toad! I will absolutely not do that. <laughs> yeah, the weird bacon clock. Nah, I'm out of here. See you later. <laughs> this health pickup is going ape shit. Yeah, a lot of these enemies here, we don't even have to fight. We can just kind of leave. Camera is having a time. The camera is struggling to keep up with this stage. Loving this perspective, though. Oh, absolutely seizure warning, these lights right here. Uh, the flashing is a little bad here. What's the gameplay difference between the characters? One of them has a double jump, one of them has a projectile. Now we're jumping on birds! We do not have access to Nikki's double jump during this bit. So it's pretty easy to uh, get hit by things. It's kind of tricky to tell where perspective-wise things are here. Like, it's easy to think that you're jumping into a coin, but you weren't, like, close enough to it. You don't have... I don't have very good depth perception when it comes to this particular part of the stage. I don't know why. Clean. Yeah, how many games do we want in our game? There's so many stages in this game that feel like they belong to a completely different game than all the other ones. I can feel the warp overtaking me. It is a good pain. <laughs> Thank you, Windy. That's what we're supposed to do. We're just supposed to hold up there. Yeah, it's gotta hold up to avoid those. Do I think Saturn could have handed all this? This game was on Saturn, wasn't it? Or at least the first one was on Saturn. Maybe this one wasn't. 
But yeah, I feel like it probably could have. <laughs> Catch me! So this part is actually timed. You have to just go as fast as you can to the end. If you go fast enough, the stage ends. And if you don't go fast enough, you gotta do this last bit again. So you just kind of gun it. And hope for the best. You don't got time to dawdle. The eyeballs, yes! Alright, at this rate, we're not gonna go fast enough. I'll take that damage, I don't give a shit. I don't think we're gonna... I don't think this'll be quite fast enough. With that damage we took. If we went fast enough, the stage will end. Okay, cool, we did it. I guess somehow we did go fast enough. Just barely. Only 46% of the treasures, though. There's only one stage before the final boss, and this one is a doozy. <laughs> Lengthwise. The bitter end. We can see somebody beyond that gate. But who is it? We don't know. <laughs> this stage takes forever. There's lots of backtracking. Lots of doing the same shit twice for no good reason. This is the fucked stage, yeah. You can tell on the on the back wall there that there's a map. So, <laughs> you know, that's a problem. That this stage has its own map system. Yeah, it's never a good sign when a platformer stage has a map in it, right? That's how you know you're in for a you're in for a doozy. Yeah, they had to put a map here because the stage is that fucked. I don't think it's fucked in a difficulty way though. It's just like long for no reason. I wouldn't say it's like the most challenging stage in the game. So here's our main objective: is to get through this gate. We can't go here yet, so we gotta find somewhere else to go. <gasps> I don't mind dying here at the moment either because we can get all of our health back, all, like, 12 of it. We only got two hit points left. So let's go down first. Let's just go all the way down. Let's go as down as we can go. It's quite a big descent, as you can tell. Quite a large drop. At least the stage is decently generous with checkpoints, if nothing else. But there is a lot of this. There's a lot of traversing a large vertical tube. Ugh. Yeah, Metroid 1 level design. Give me that. Thank you. I don't think we can go this way. Oh, no, we can. Yeah, 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 we just had to open the gate. So now we're at the bottom. We can tell where the boss room is, but we do not have access to it yet. This is absolutely a stage for Nikki. You don't want to you don't want to have to deal with this shit as Fargus. <laughs> Yeah, no, Fargus here, I would say, is a pretty bad idea. It can be done. But you don't want to miss jumps on this level, generally. There we go. One half of the gate is open. You know what that means. Back the fucking way we came. Here we go. Why is that cutscene and slideshow? I have no idea. The game just couldn't handle is too many graphics all at once. It's too powerful of a game. 
The PlayStation cannot tame a Pandemonium 2. Whoop! We did not nail that jump. But it's kind of okay. We got all of our health back. I can't really be upset. Yeah, too much graphics. Simply too many graphics on the PlayStation. I think we gotta hit the switch again. Slideshow mode. Only the camera panning was at a low frame rate. The door opening was smooth. A very weird decision for that. I guess we should just be safe and do double jumps. It's kind of hard to tell where you are spatially when the camera is forward facing. They want to make it more cinematic. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we're playing Pandemonium 2 right now, Adam. I love this game. I don't care much for this stage. This final stage is a little bit of a chore. But generally, big fan. Are we going back up? Are we going up? What is up here? Is there anything? What are we aiming for exactly? This is back where we were. Okay, yeah, they don't... Thankfully, they don't let you go ways that you have no reason to go. So if you're not supposed to be go... If you're not supposed to be that way, they'll be like, Okay, don't go that way. You can't... Can't go there right now. <laughs> They're at least generous enough to gate the places you're not supposed to be at the time. But now we have to climb. Now we gotta go back up, which is its own problem. Yeah, there was a map. This stage is a map. Oh no. Not the side spikes. That's how they get you. Now I think we have to go to the very top. Yeah, we gotta go up. I think we have to go all the way to the very top, if I'm not mistaken. We'll just keep climbing for a while. You know that launcher noise from Gex? This is a Crystal Dynamics joint that does track. This is where the half-opened gate was. Yeah, we can't go this way yet. The gate is still half-open. Must climb to open the rest of it. That's what we need, Cody, you're right. But yeah, generally this stage is, uh... more of a chore than anything. I don't care too much for it. I feel like if you had cut out this stage entirely, the game wouldn't be any worse for it. Like, this stage does feel very... The game's not long enough, let's put in a long stage kind of a stage. And I could be wrong. I'm not a game designer, what do I know? Yeah, very satisfying coinage. Flip lever. What was down this way? Hold on. Is there anything here? Is this anything? No. I think we gotta hit the lever again. Yeah. 
Gotta go to the bit that's extending outwards so that you can jump without falling. Okay. Flip this one. Not sure what this one does. Okay, so it just moves up here. I'll take that. Switch. There we go. Okay, now we know where we're going again. This door is open, but we can't... I don't think we can go that way yet. Game's not long enough. Put in a long stage. Don't worry, the game ships in a year. We have time. <laughs> Thank you, Brad, for the 100 bits. Although, whenever you do end up in a place like this, it becomes engaging again. It's just the long trips between, like, hallways for no reason <laughs> that are the real problem. Whenever you have to do these little, like, platforming bits or dodging spikes or whatever, that's totally fine. If the stage was, like, several of these strung together, I'd have no problem. But there are large... There are large periods of time where you're doing nothing but moving up or down a tube. Oh no, I think the walls are closing in. Ah, yes. It's time to go. <laughs> you got me, you got me fair and square. Watermelon! Oh, dear God. <laughs> be fucking quick, dude. Nice, we're out of there. Now we can go back up this away, where we opened a door. Eh? Who? Eh? Okay. Back this away. Ah, yes, the jump boots. I'm off to some trouble in my great big boots. Excuse me? Excuse me, Nikki? Eh? Thank you. Oh no, camera. Okay. Huh. The scavenger jackal! Thank you for the 16 whole years. Is she boot too big for she goddamn feet? I'll take that trade. Then we have a series of extremely questionable jumps coming up. Okay. <laughs> extremely sketchy platforming here. Yeah, it's very ledge grab heavy. Yeah, it's a good thing we got the moon boots. E. 
Like that we can see the river just fading to black. <laughs> just stops rendering. Dear God. That's a clincher. That's a clincher every time. All right, the door's open. Progress. Now we're getting somewhere. Apple Shine gifted alias McDoa sub. At least we were given an extra life. Thank you so much, Apple Shine. Where was that door? I think the door was downwards. I think the door was in the middle of the tube, right? Like, not the higher, the low route. It was like the mid one. I think we need to descend a bit. Oh, there is a scam train. Who dares? <laughs> hey, thank you so much, everybody. Don't touch the don't touch the hype train. It's at sixty nine percent right now. Don't you dare touch that hype train. <laughs> Real Soviet bear! Thank you for the real Soviet raid. We're playing Pandemonium 2. We're currently in the thick of the longest stage in history right now. This stage is incredibly girthy. Pretty sure we're just looking for a door. We've accidentally hit a platform and went to the stratosphere. How were things at the bear stream? Yeah, it's one of the stages of all time. I would- I do agree that it's probably shorter than the Metal Slug 3 final stage. The Metal Slug 3 final stage is, like, longer than the rest of the game put together. It's incredibly funny. That being said, I do have a general idea of where I'm going. And if, like, you were doing this one blinded, uh, reasonably, you could expect it to take a little bit longer. Is this death? Okay. I couldn't tell if that was the floor or not. Now we know. <laughs> you want your hundred channel points back? I'm sorry. Is that death? I think that one's death as well. <laughs> I think we need to find what isn't death. We have to locate something that will not kill us this way. Aha! Now we can go that way. Just needed to open the elevator. There's gonna be a lot of spinning and some flashing lights. Meanwhile, back this away through the teeth tubes. We were there once before. Now we can go over there. Does anyone remember where that was? What'd you just see? You saw something emerge from somewhere. And now we gotta go back over there. Was that top or bottom of the tube? I guess we should try bottom first, because it's easier to get to. Uh oh. <laughs> I thought there was a ceiling that I could latch on to. Little did I know. Pretty sure that was the bottom of the tube. <laughs> Not a problem. We have to watch this cutscene again. This cannot be made any faster. <laughs> you just gotta hold that shit.
Yeah, this is a Crystal Dynamics joint. The first one is uh, Toys for Bob, as you as you have mentioned. This uh, second one is a Crystal Dynamics joint. Even the first one was published by Crystal Dynamics. Let's do that again, but gooder this time. Spinning globe makes your forehead tickle. Are there ever any pandas in a pandemonium game? There are... Distressingly, zero pandas. I'm sorry to say. It is absolutely devoid of pandas. I know, it feels like false advertising, I agree. Something I do think is kind of nice about this stage, though, is that even when you have to revisit an area, they find some kind of way to make it different. Like, you see the ground just start cracking open. Pandemonium is nice if knights couldn't fly change my mind. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. No, I can't disagree. I think we're supposed to go back, to, uh, back down to the bottom. Rude. Yeah, the, the transgressions of this stage notwithstanding, the game is very good. It's an easy game to recommend to anyone who just, like, wants a cool, dank platformer to play. But be prepared that this stage is fucked up. How long have we been on this stage? Ooh, I don't know. 20 something minutes. And we haven't been going slow either. <laughs> it's really that long. Oh god, I'm gonna be sick! Okay. We're living. Ah, yes, the eyeball of doom! We need to collect that power up. Every time we get hit, we gotta collect that power up again. Is this real? Yeah, that's the vibe they were going for. That is, in fact, the vibe they were after. <laughs> Just you questioning you uh, every questioning everything you know about video games. Texture streaming from the Gex engine. They do show a Gex trailer on the title screen. There's a Gex trailer you can look at. I wouldn't be surprised if the game has the same DNA. The designers can drop a bit of acid as a treat. <laughs> Some <of> crystal dynamics, <laughs> probably. Just a little bit. Thank you, thank you, Jun, for the 100 headaches, for the 100, uh, for the 100 acid. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yeah, bloob. Thank you for the follow. Uh oh, getting cooked. All right, you got me. 
Thankfully, it checkpoints us every time we go into a new room, so we didn't lose much progress there. The stage is fairly generous with checkpoints, so you do have that going for you. Oh, that does three points of damage. Watch out for the buzzsaws, understood. I were aware that they hurt it, but I wasn't aware they did that much. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Yo, Zixel, thank you for the follow. We're living. Good enough. If we can get out of the room and get checkpointed, that'd be nice, but we're kind of already dead. <laughs> now we gotta go back that way. Does anyone remember that path? That was where the moon boots were. We gotta go get the moon boots again. Ah, fuck. Oh, cool, they checkpoint us at the switch. That's actually quite nice of them. We're close. Predictable. Yeah, K.A. Uh, is, uh, what, kids to adults, I'm pretty sure? I think that's what that shit was. Why does the watermelon make that sound when you jump on it? It's unclear. Maybe I don't want to know the answer. That's a good question. All right. Now we gotta go back to those moon boots! We gotta jump through the teeth tube! Gotta go through the teeth tube again. Too bad. And we gotta get out of this room so that we can make it back to the main vertical tube so that we can then climb to the top of that, get back to the moon boots room so that we can do something in there to unlock more progress somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, These buzzsaws are very rude. They get increasingly rude. I think we just hit a checkpoint, though. I think we just hit a checkpoint. Let's see. Yeah, we did. Cool. Brought us all the way back out. Let's... Now we gotta go all the way back to the top, then. Is this a dank game or a grotty game? I would say this is actually a really good game. We just happen to be on the uh, most problematic stage of all time. To the top we go! Whoop. You can see why Nikki is so useful for this one. You wouldn't want to be... You wouldn't want to pick Fargus for this one. This is not... <laughs> this is not a Fargus stage at all. Yeah, the no Fargus zone. Don't pick Fargus for this one. You do not want to be stuck with one jump on this stage.
This is very Wizards and Warriors 3. Can't believe I'm making that comparison. I see you dropping frames, OBS. You put those frames back right now. <laughs> the unauthorized dropping of frames. Uh. I'm willing to face tank a little bit. I'm willing to face tank just a little bit. We can use our lives as a resource at this point, just to, like, face tank and get to the next checkpoint. Yeah, I'm not sure why the, uh... I'm not sure why the coins are little OBS icons. This is where the moon boots were. We gotta take our moon boots for a ride. Can my PC run Doom 2016 or Doom Eternal? Yeah, absolutely. I got like a 3070? I think I have a 3070. It's fucked up that I got a really good computer and then used it to stream really old games. It's maybe the most. maybe the most needless purchase. <laughs> It's like, I bought a really good streaming computer. It's like, okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to stream some NES games. Let's play Metal Max. <laughs> it's like, not really getting my mileage out of this thing. Yeah, we're, it's, it's future-proofing. That's the way I see it. Easy, easy, Nikki. E oh, they put <laughs> now they put saw blades here, just to make the moon boots problem even more of a problem. Ah, shit! You got me. You gotta be fair and square. Okay, we have a full life bar though. Full life bar for this ain't bad. It's for when I stream retro PS3 and 360 games. It did help me stream Sonic 06. Like, admittedly, I probably wouldn't have been able to stream Sonic 06 on my old computer. So it's probably... That's probably the, the hardest it's had to work. When did I stream Sonic 06? That was a while ago! That was when Sonic 06 turned 15. We played the whole game in one run. It was like a nine-hour stream. It was ridiculous. You got me. Oh no. <laughs> what are these saw blades doing? Is it spinning in a circle? Did I categorize this retro? I don't remember. I probably did, yeah. Actually, I think I did, because I remember somebody getting mad. Uh... I remember somebody, like, some new guy showing up and being like, Why the fuck are you on the retro tag playing Sonic 06? <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't know what to tell you. The game turned 15 today. That seems pretty old to me. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, Lucy, we still have to stream Star Fox Adventures at some point. I jumped right into that. That's what I've done. Just directly into it. I think we got another checkpoint, though. Yeah, cool. 
You absolutely just use your lives as a resource at this point. You just can't be bothered dealing with all these spikes. All these buzz saws here. I'm just gonna... It's gonna face tank it. I have a long life bar. I'm just gonna fucking... I'm just gonna tank it. I can't be bothered. Just buzz saw me, Captain. Just do it. So after we flip a switch over here, I think we're good to go. I don't think there was anything else to do other than... Other than go to the end. I think this is the last thing that's really required of us. Yeah, just fucking buzz saw me. I can't be bothered. I think we gotta stand here. Is this anything? What are we doing? Oh, I see. There's more. <laughs> they give you four extra lives! What are they trying to say? They're about to say, they're trying to say, shit's about to get fucked up, take some lives. You're about to need them. Go ahead, just take them. You know, we know you're about to get cooked. Here are four extra lives, free of charge. Here we go. Here we go. It's got a hoo. Yes. Yes. Is that alien Nikki? I'm not sure. All right. We're up to the final boss now. Tell you what, here's the deal. Oh, hey, we actually got a bonus stage. Somehow on the biggest level with the most coins, we got the bonus stage. So this is essentially the same as Speed Greed. You're just on a board this time. It's the exact same gimmick. Yeah, it's over. The stage of doom is over. Oh, that's right. We're not supposed to jump there. I always forget not to jump there. <laughs> you got me. You got me fair and square. Yeah, lots of jumping and or sliding. Not that we really need any of these. We've got all the lives in the world. We're totally fine. The last boss is not really that hard. We shouldn't have to... We should have nothing to worry about. I'll tell you what, though. We are going to run the final boss twice. Because there's two different endings, depending on who beats the final boss. There's actually a Nikki ending and a Fargus ending. So what I guess we're going to do is drop a save state real quick so we can see both of them. That seems fair to me. Hello, miss. Yeah, Suburban Socrates. The thing is, nobody really agrees on, like, a definition. And unless Twitch says themselves their own definition, it's hard to anybody to really adhere to it. So it's kind of just this gray area of shit old... Okay, we're gonna drop a save state, and then we'll just- we'll look at both endings. We'll do this fight twice. Rub the Buddha! Good. Very good. Do it Nikki first. Yeah, I'm with you, luckiest mage. <laughs> Fifteen years seems pretty old to me. So here's the final boss. Good. 
It's an enormous Buddha that we have to shoot at. <laughs> just the most absurd. Just the most absurd stage. We have to destroy all the Gemeralds. There we go. I think there's some Gemeralds on the back. destroy all the gemeralds. Actually, I'm not sure if you have to destroy all of them. I think you do. Cool. How else could this game end? I agree. It might as well have a completely nonsensical flying Buddha boss. Why not? That is absolutely in keeping with how nutty everything else has been. Oh, we got the strat. We got the strat. We can do this in relative safety. Phase two begins. Uh. That's when the head and spine detach from the rest of the Buddha, because why wouldn't it? You gotta shoot the gem inside the mouth. It's actually kind of tricky to hit because you don't have a large window to do so. I think we're landing hits though. <laughs> you got me, you got me fair and square. This, yeah, I played this as a kid. I definitely used to have this game as a kid. Granted, I don't know if I ever got to the end of it. Because this game in a couple spots probably got a little bit too difficult for like five or six year old Dino, but... Yeah, no, I had this. Absolutely, I had this. Although I remember playing this mostly in middle school. I remember having it ever since I was little, but... I probably wasn't playing games that much when I was that young. <laughs> Where's our life bar? You don't get one. Well, I mean, you do. You just don't see it while you, um... Haven't got hit in a while. It's because we've been cooking. Hides the life bar, because we're cooking too hard. Problem is... The only time that you can really... Conveniently line up a shot is the same time that you have to dodge out of the way. Like, it's pretty tricky to... It's pretty tricky to line up in such a way that you can land one. Okay, we definitely landed a shot there. Somebody definitely came up with this. They were just super high in the Crystal Dynamics office. Somebody was like, what if you fight Buddha, right? But it's huge and it's blue. And then its head and spine come off. Like, Sub-Zero did a fatality on it. And everyone else in the room was like... Write that down. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, then you ride the spine down the tongue. And that's how the game ends. That's the actual... Alright, let's get the Nikki ending first. Here's Nikki's ending. This is what Nikki wished for.
Yeah, spin that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just spin that, just spin the entire galaxy, fuck it. Trillions are dead, yeah. Well, there she goes. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's good. All right, let's back that up real quick. Back that up. Let's do that again with Fargus. Got to get the Fargus ending too. We can't do half of a job. Run it back. They're anti-heroes and not really heroes. At no point in this game are they purported to be heroes. At no point in the in the intro cutscene are Nikki and Fargus portrayed as the good guys. Because they immediately get selfish ideas of what to do with the wish in their head. At no point are they doing anything heroic in this game. Whoops. Now, in the first game, they actually were trying to fix a problem. Granted, they created the problem. But they were trying to fix it. In this game, however, there's just, there's a comet that grants a wish. Let's go and selfishly get our wish granted. And that's the game. <laughs> and you know what? Why not? Good for them. What would I wish for? Um, eight hours of sleep. Yeah, probably. Back to the Andros phase. Here we go. This game is really like, what if we just did things? It really is, yeah. But I think the game is better for it. Like, I don't think it's to the game's detriment that it's all over the place. I think it absolutely enhances the experience that they're just like, let's just do shit. And not, like, think about it too hard. <laughs> like, I can respect that design philosophy. Yeah, this is the this is the tricky phase. It's just hard to it's not difficult. Like dodging's not a problem here. It's actually landing the shots that's a fucking problem. It's not a terribly difficult attack to avoid. Oh, we might have gotten away with that one right before it closed. I don't think the first game had multiple endings, sadly. I think you see the same ending, regardless of who you did the last stage with. But I do like the idea that there's two endings in this one. I think that's pretty good. That's very fighting game of them. <laughs> Every character has their own little thing. Now, obviously, it's not going to bode well that Fargus gets a wish. Granted, how he behaved in the opening cutscene with his swirly, his swirly, dazed, hypnotized eyes. 
and him saying the word fire several times. That can't possibly be good. Something definitely happened in between Pandemoniums 1 and 2, because he just seemed like a goofball in the first game. He seemed more silly and not crazy. But he seems fairly insane in this one. It's not actual Fargus, it's just one of the other ones. I mean, that's probably true that there's Fargus clones lying around. That is canonically how the first game ended. He created several more Farguses to populate the town with. It's true, we don't know which one we got. <laughs> the KOF Fargus clone arc. Probably only a couple more hits. Yeah, we just landed another shot. Shouldn't be too many more. We're mostly, we're pretty much there. This last phase is more busy work than anything I would say, but it's still, <laughs> it's still engaging enough. Did I get him? I don't think we got him in time. Yeah, Fargus 1 and 2, there we go. I love that they just give you a ton of shit for no reason. They just give you a ton of lives. Alright, let's see what Fargus wished for. This'll be good. Oh no. Oh dear god. That <laughs> Sid is pissed. Very good. Good. Good wish. T -t Turn everything into Fargus. And why not? <laughs> no. Ah, I love this video game. She respect- I mean, yeah, you gotta respect that. He turned himself into all the flowers. He turned himself into the trees. He turned himself into the sun. Why not? Good for him. He had a- he had a- he had a dream and he executed on it. Outtakes! Perhaps the true pandemonium too were the friends we made along the way. I agree, June. Thank you for the 500 bits. Hold on, we're gonna get these outtakes in there. No one told me there were outtakes. Freddy Bronchi Lee. These are some good... These are some very good nicknames. Ah, oh, more outtakes. Oh no, the dogs got Sid. Oh well. Are these Fargus specific outtakes? They might be, I'm not sure actually. But I can't be bothered to run it again with Nikki to find out. Mark Satan Wallace. I don't think that's the nickname you want. That's probably not good. He took out the camera. <laughs> Great. Yeah, the outtakes might be dependent on who you picked. 
Ah, that's all right. I'm sure they're on YouTube if you want to see the Nikki outtakes. Virtual Rob, yeah. And yeah, there was never, there was never a Pandemonium three. This is only a two-part series. I wouldn't mind a Pandemonium three happening. Keyframe Asylum for the digitally insane. Yeah, Toys for Bob. Uh, someone's got a free Toys for Bob from the Call of Duty mines. Someone's got to bust them out of there. Egg! That's just a Kirby. That was just Kirby. That's what that was. That was Kirby. Jeremy Average White Man Burrito. <laughs> Outtakes are the same for both? Okay, cool. That means we didn't miss anything. <laughs> your nickname cannot be Cooter. That <laughs> can't be your nickname, dude. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> that can't be what people call you, dude. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's not, um... I guess it's not Greg Proops in this one for Fargus. They got a different, uh... He's dead. They got a different Fargus voice actor. I can't believe they got Greg Proops the first time around. That's weird. Come over here, you big stud. Greg Proops is, uh, he was on Whose Line Is It Anyway? Nikki, what are you doing? Oh, no. Was he the announcer in Mad World? Yeah, I think so. Mostly I know him from Who's Line. You got a lot of special thanks on this game. Someone please bust Toys for Bob out of the Call of Duty mines. That would be fantastic. The end. Pandemonium 2. Sadly, there's not even a sequel hook. Except for the Drew Carey era or the Aisha Tyler era. I'm okay with both of them, to be honest. I do think that Drew Carey personally is funnier, but... It's got... It's got Colin Mockery and Ryan Styles either way. You can't really go wrong. All right. Yeah, not even a sequel hook. Yeah, don't forget Gex. What do you want to watch the? Do you want to watch the Gex trailer again? I can show you the Gex trailer again if you want. Yeah, R.I.P. Ri R.I.P. Pandemonium. Do it again? Alright, I'll give you a Gex trailer. One more Gex trailer for the road. The clock says party time! Sweet, like candy. Maybe we'll get around to this one. We've only streamed Gex 1. Let's get it on. Uh, we still haven't streamed Gex 2 or 3. Gex is less annoying than Bubsy. I'm gonna be real. 
That's a bold claim. I will be 100% real with you. It's close. It's closer than you think. Crystal Dynamics updated their logo on Twitter. They put Gex in their logo. Finally. Gex 4. Finally. Obviously, you have to have a crossover game between Gex and Bubsy. And it's just them bantering with, like, the worst banter you've ever heard, and that's just the whole game. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> anyway, we've been at it for about five and a half hours. It's only two game. There's only two games in the series, but they're pretty chunky. Skeleton. Fun little, fun little series. That's about all I've got for y'all today, though. So thank you everyone who came out to today's stream. Thanks to thank everyone you. who hosted, rated, subscribed, all thank that you. good shit. Thank maybe, you, thank maybe more PS One. We might be- it might just be PS1 week. We might do more Skeleton. PS1. Thank Looks like Bill Bull is on. Thank you. Lord Thank you. Billiam. Thank you. What is Gary doing? Inscription? Thank you. Is that the card Thank game? You. I don't remember. I think it's the card game. Let's raid him. Fuck it. ZY. ZX. Uh, nerf score. No problem, Goaty. Throw scoots at him. Throw scoots at my boy Gary. If you don't got Dino scoots, throw rack attacks at him. Thank you. Be back on Thank Wednesday you. with probably more PS1. I'll figure it out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. Skeleton. Welcome to.